had a uh, food truck there with like lobster rolls and a bunch of other stuff, which was amazing. Dude, those tots looked amazing. Dude, the tots were probably the best thing. Like if you they ever looked had a food truck, yeah. Let's go ahead and get this starting to roll here. Um, does anybody have any announcements or anything like that? I know that's kind of what we're doing, but are we... You had some hella lobster rolls that were really good. Uh, Perka store issues. Anybody have anything else going on? No? Okay. Uh, the graphics on PS5 look like they're real. <laughs> Then, like you remember Zach we were talking about like I feel like these games aren't running at the right uh, they just don't look right on PS4 oh well put it on PS5 yes that's they were meant for PS5 yeah, yeah I was like oh my god Creed, I feel like Fun, all these games are meant oh, man. For so I was like blown away I was like this shit looked real <laughs> anyways so yeah that's my update oh um uh, as far as uh, next session goes, mm -hmm. Jared, are you? We've been doing back to back weeks. Do you want to give it a week, or are you okay with next Monday? If you want to think about it, it's totally fine. Yeah, yeah, let's think about it. Um, okay. Yeah. Because I know we've been going back to back weeks all January, which is awesome. But, uh, you know, we haven't really taken a breather, so. Yeah. Yeah, no um, we'll we'll yeah we'll think about it. Um, okay. Yeah, I, like I was telling everybody else, um, I got my COVID vaccine and it is kicking my ass right now. I'm just like I said, I slept twelve hours last night. I took an hour nap before we started this up. So. Um, uh, oh, about that. Yeah. Yeah, I get mine sometime this week, so I'll ask you about the stuff about that. Yeah. Yeah, most people it's fine. Like most people just get a really sore arm, but man, I am. I'm not filling up to task, so we may not have full session today. We'll at least um, get you guys killed and rolling up new characters here in this tavern, though. Okay, speaking of taverns, uh, who wants to give us a breakdown of where we are, what we're doing, where we're going, and why we're here? I'll do it. All right. I just watched it, so yeah, it's all, it's all fresh and stuff. So, so and I, I, got to, I got to finish out some of the gap in my notes, too, so that helps. Um, so let's see. Party splits to get supplies uh, and focus on the smuggler and their ship. During which function, Zuka accidentally started more fun with the Fey. Mostly function. Uh, <laughs> um, they fight this big thing. I forgot what it was called. Uh, that's one of the notes I missed. Um, eventually, function falls. Uh, some drunk and some guards come to help Zuka finish it off, I guess. And then a priest comes up and basically charges through the nose for a revival. <laughs> um, then we regroup back at Zan's grandfather's place. Uh, the party notices Function's horrible condition. Zuka fills, they both fill us in. Um, Function tells us about one of his other, his next dream sequence or vision or whatever you want to call it. Uh, we've got people changing clothes. Zan sends a message with that metallic bird thing uh, to the prince. I forgot which prince. Uh, I know which one, but I forgot what house it was. Um, and then the one see. who owes us money. Yeah, the one that we talked to earlier. And then, uh, let's see, we get Zuka to take us back to the airfield to go meet up with that. Hold on, time out. Who owes you money? Who, who did you say owes you money? I don't know if he owes us money. Well, didn't he send the message to the... He sent it to that prince that we met oh. with earlier. I'm mistaken then. Never mind. Yeah, yeah and that was Prince Aldrin of the Iliadon houses. Okay. Oh, never mind yeah. then. That, no, he doesn't owe us money. No. So then we go to the back to the airfield. Uh, we go to the trash shop inn to meet up with the, you know. Oh no! First we go talk to the drunk guy, who ends up being the smuggler. The store. Yeah, the store. And then we start to make a deal with him. Then we go to this guy's salt inn, meet up with his mutinous first mate, who's now the captain of this ship. 
Um, with Steel Feather. And uh, we all basically go in in like pairs or solo. And we annoy the shit out of this dwarf <laughs> with the same question over and over again. He basically was the front man for this chick's business. Uh, she's a tabaxi, uh, coal butt, uh, you know, black fur. Uh, we start to make a deal, or like Zan was in the works of talking, or Tal was in the works of talking with her. And then some shit happened with uh, Pragar headbutting some guard, and that started some small brawl. Which then eventually turned into some distracted dancing by Okabar and Zan using his magic deck. <laughs> it wasn't a brawl, I just knocked him out. Yeah, no, so the 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 guard brawl that ensued afterwards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> was it wasn't we aren't quite to the brawl yet, and I do have to redact something, um, as Zan does throw his card out. Um, those around you will notice that there are like what seems to be runes or, or glyphs of some type on his newly found elven cloak that tend to glow and you notice that it does not seem to have any interaction with the, the fey barrier that you guys have been struggling with recently. So him okay. throwing that card would not have triggered that. But was the card able to trigger? Yes. The okay. card landed right in front of them and pfft, Turned into the okay. small blue kobold. Illusory yeah. kobold, yeah. <laughs> and to which the entire bar or tavern or inn of a hundred people started to draw on us. Uh, okay. Yes, because because Bregar walked up and the guard that tried to stop Talvern from coming up, uh, Okabar started distractedly dancing and you saw. Uh, uh, hold on. Colt, right? Uh, Colbert. 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 No R. Colbert. No. You saw Colbert. Uh, go ahead and beckon you forward because she was interested in the dancing of Okabar. Pregar walked up and <laughs> goosh, just decked him one. All right. Give me one second, guys. I think I actually had butt. Uh, but he, like, he put his hand on me before. Yes. Yes, he did. But you, did as you were approaching, uh, yes, he, he definitely... Okay. Took a swing at you at that point. Okay. So okay. Big guy. Just take out the uh, biggest guy in the room first, always, right? I mean, if you're in prison, sure. All right. So, yeah. we're going to go ahead and yeah. move this after over. The five minute, after the five minute conversation we had about not having a show of force, <laughs> somebody touched Pragar and he forgot to not headbutt him to death. Yep. Listen. Okay. I spent a whole session saying don't use magic, and then at the end of it, I, I used magic. When did we yeah, say let's... we weren't using force? Hold on. <laughs> yeah. said, let's, let's, we literally said, let's go in yeah. one at a time, we'll have a yeah, conversation with them. A show of force is not going to work. She's got 50 dudes with her. Like, yeah. We talked about and it pretty thoroughly. And immediately early. tried to show of force. Immediately had butted her biggest guy in the mouth. Frank, I was like, I don't, I don't remember that. I don't know what you're talking about. I wasn't there for this conversation. I don't know. <laughs> it was a conversation between me and you. It was me and you. <laughs> I don't drink a lot. <laughs> this is yeah, oh, this blood bloodlust. He's like, nobody said anybody would touch me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, as we can, can, you guys see everything on the screen here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Finally, it worked. Uh, okay, you know, so Talvern, <laughs> Talvern, and Okabar, you guys are about right here. Y'all are kind of walking up to the main table. I'm at the table. If I recall, I sat down. Oh, okay. Yes, you're. Here. Okay, you are absolutely at the table. Yeah. Okabar is behind you doing his strange kind of leggy dance, whatever it is. Like the totally uh, inflatable arm failing too, man. Yes, like, absolutely. Um, Pregar is here. He has just headbutted this person who kind of tried to stop him for just a second. Uh, Aviary is behind him a little ways. Uh, Xanthar is running around somewhere. You guys do not see him at this point. Yeah. You did see him throw a card. Um, actually, he's right here. I'll I had just left the dwarf and about to go talk to the table with the same people yes. mm -hmm. all that other shit happened okay so uh aviary's yeah aviary you're up here right right here uh the dwarf you just spoke to is over here on the right side uh zuka you are upstairs you're going upstairs at this point correct yeah okay all right so as we begin pregar 
headbutts this lord's looking half orc fellow, and the, the half orc just crumples to the ground. Uh, does it offer any resistance whatsoever? The the ring sound of several dozen uh, scimitars being pulled out of their sheaths, and the the creaking of crossbows all across the top balcony. You see, there are literally dozens of people who begin to aim arrows down at whomever has started this this fight in the middle it seems like everybody who has been sitting here for a very long time are all kind of <clears throat> sit on a sat on a powder keg you know just ready for action and instantly there is a headbutt in front of them so right when he headbutted him last this is what i said last time i pulled the chair out and i sat down very casually like nothing was happening and i said my very large friend doesn't like it when people touch him so I would suggest okay. you have your men refrain. Look, look, that's all. Right, so everybody draws their swords, and they're all they're all like pointing them at you. And, and you I just sit down like nothing's happening at all. Like everything's good. Like I'm just there to have a conversation with her. And I act okay. like I act like it's not a big deal. I'm just like, look, look, let's see. A demonstration was in order. I apologize, but if this is the best you can do for your defenses, doesn't these are a little vulnerable, don't you think? The tabaxi just sits there for a second and says, and she's the only one that's that's relaxed. Everyone else has either a crossbow, a knife, or something out. You know, for being so bold and courageous, some might mistake that for stupidity. Some, yes. I, I guess everyone I like to, uh, to I like to uh, put it all on the table, if you know what I mean. So, speaking of putting things on the table... Is he with I, uh, you? Him, the big one. Who else yes. is with you? Oh, it, there are men about. Okabar, <laughs> make a persuasion roll. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> or a performance. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> no, the performance, there's no way he'll even pass that. This is, right? this is a big persuasion, yeah. <laughs> No. Yeah, dude, she's... Ignore you can you can ignore the big pink guy. He's uh likes to do drugs. <laughs> I'm Look, my favorite drug. You know, I don't know why we're you're stuck here. here just like everyone else is, so they're indulging and having a good time. And if you'd like to know why I'm here, it's actually you, my lovely dear. You are the reason we are here. Go ahead and make a persuasion check, Talvern. With advantage with me? No. Um, uh, you're the reason he's not at disadvantage. <laughs> okay. You might also be the reason I was at disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Tal, just go talk to him. Boom! <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't see anybody doing lady. anything else. I know, I know, I know. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at you. Make their biggest guy look like a bitch in front of all her people is never a bad thing. Uh, 15. Okay, she goes, if we're going to have this conversation, have the rest of your ruffians wait outside. This will be between you and I and your dancing pool. Well, perhaps uh, there's a quiet place where you and I can speak, because as you can see, you have a lot of ears around as well. I certainly do. That's the part of having it on my own home turf. This place here, this little small room table, typically I don't allow outsiders, but since you insist on making such a, a vulgar entrance, you may have your... Well, as a courtesy, I'm by no means the boss of that big, scary, terrifying, dragon-esque fellow there, but Pragar... If you wouldn't mind, would you step far enough that you couldn't hear, but not so far that you couldn't take the head off of any of these people if we need to? Yeah, I'll stand watch and uh, just kind of turn my back through the table just to see the whole tavern. Okay. Um, what you see across the tavern are lots and lots of angry stares. There are a couple of people who they don't look quite as rough as the rest of them and they kind of get up hurriedly and, and leave a few coins and, and take off and go outside. Um, a lot of people still have their scimitars drawn. You can hear the creaking of crossbow bolts up top, and the tabaxi is still sitting there with her paws kind of crossed. I'll lean in across the table and sort of whisper to her, and I go, Sorry, being stuck here has done so much for their tension. They're just 
pent up. I'm sure you understand with your men as well. I don't know if you're a rival captain here to try to intimidate me or if you're, I, I frankly don't know what you're about, but make this quick. Sure, let me get directly to the point though. Um, I've heard a bit of a rumor about you and it turns out that if that rumor were to be true, that our uh, plans and our goals might align and it might be beneficial for us to have a conversation about that. You speak in vagaries and rumors. I well, let's get specific. Through. Let's get specific Who there. Is? Let's get specific then. And I'll pull the broken eye pin out and I'll roll it across the table to her. Okay. Rolls in front of her and she kind of cricks an eyebrow. It seems we've had dealings with uh, similar individuals in the past. Yes. So what are you here about? Well, we need to get somewhere. It happens to be on the way to where we hear you're going. And um, it would seem that, like I said, all goals, um, past friends, past acquaintances, might align with what we're trying to do. Not only that, it seems as though uh, you could get some help getting out of this fucking place. And I think that's something that we might be able to provide you if we were able to tag along and be dropped at a destination, which, like I said, based on the rumor I heard, is in route with where you're going already. <laughs> I mean, if you want to stay here for another two to three or four weeks and hope that our men don't kill each other while we're waiting to get off this fucking tree, then that's fine with me. But I think that we could probably come to an arrangement. At this point, she puts her arms down, and, and the people around the table, they slowly put their scimitars down and start to sit down. Uh, Pregari, where you are, you see uh, there's a couple of them that kind of come up, and they're they're very, very close to you, and they're very, making themselves very, um, I guess, obvious that they are around you and they don't trust you. Uh, at this point, Zan uh, dips out. He <laughs> runs out the back door. Uh, what's everyone else doing at this point? Zuka, Aviary, what are you guys doing? You said that people still have their stuff drawn? Yes, there are still several crossbow bolts around the top. Um, you kind of stick out, and so it's kind of assumed that you're not you're not like a regular here. And since you didn't get up and leave like all the other customers, it's kind of obvious that you don't really um, belong here. Same for me, God. Uh, okay. What? I, I, I mean, is it the same for me, even though I'm upstairs? Like, am I blending in? I'm going to say, okay, uh, make a stealth check, because I think we rolled one last time, but I don't remember what it is. Go ahead and make that stealth check for me. I think I got it with advantage, too. 97, the last I checked. Okay. Um, you're able to really kind of stand off to the side. You're pretty certain that not a lot of people have noticed you since all of the crossbows are kind of aimed at the middle area, but you're still kind of upstairs. And, and and from like what I see right now, are there like a lot of people with crossbows, or like would it be only a few? You're, you're seeing at least a couple of dozen, probably 25 to 30. Okay. Yeah, I'm just uh, not drawing attention to myself, but still being able to see like what's going on. Okay. Are you going upstairs or are you going downstairs? Oh, am I not upstairs right now? Uh, you're oh. on the stairs heading that way. Um, okay, well, if they haven't seen me, I, I'll hang out like right here. Okay. Kind of in the corner. Uh, very much like an Aragon type figure at the uh, the Pony Inn. Uh, yeah, just chilling out. Okay, Aviary, what you got? I'm gonna go ahead and sit right here at this, uh, table, and not even worry about the swords, and just ask for drink! Okay. Uh, here. <laughs> I Everybody's mean, no like, reason to get upset, here. guys. We're basically gods. <laughs> Everyone's tensely, like, sitting around, like, you have people who have, like, little knives, lots of crossbows and everything. The There's not a waitress to be seen, and the, the barkeep behind the bar, he's like, like a western just kind of like looking over the edge of the bar and, and there's just this large winged feather just being like drink yeah drink wow yeah. wow wow yeah. at this point the Man, fellow so. that Pregar knocked down kind of gets up and he's got blood running down his nose he goes and he kind of whispers to I'll oh, fuck you up for that boy <sighs> I don't even acknowledge him I'll uh kind of wave my hand in the air and snap to the barkeep 
Okay. See if can bring it ale. The barkeep, huh, he, he he trembles at the attention and ducks back down. He's already pretty short anyway. He's a halfling, so he's he's uh you know not too far over the bar, but just ducks back down. Uh, meanwhile, everyone kind of is, is side eyeing this kobold that's sitting here, going <laughs> just just awkwardly uh, just stuck there, uh, not making any movement since Zan has already dipped out. So back at the table, just he, left the just drop the kobold illusion and then peace. <laughs> It's the most the end thing well, ever. Yeah, that thing that thing stays for an hour, so there's gonna be a kobold in this area for like for quite a while. He's <laughs> joking. All right, so at at the table, Okabar, you're still dancing, but you're slowly dancing closer to the table. Talvin, you're sitting there and the tabaxi is is slowly taking a drink of what looks to be milk. And she sets it down. <laughs> milk. You still speak in vagaries. Tell me exactly and frankly. Where are you going? Why do you assume that we cannot leave earlier than two weeks out? And uh, what are these okay. rumors that you keep telling me of? Sorry, I don't have my map up. Boys, what's the name of the place where our ship is? There it is. There it is. I had it marked out on my map. I just haven't pulled it up yet. And I marked where she was going, and it's like basically up where, where the captain told us they were supposed to be going. Well, right. they were supposed to be going to Eridus, or past Eridus. <clears> yeah, they were. so they're, we're looking to pass by Eridus on their way to... Does anybody remember? I'm pulling it up right now. Um, well, either way, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, well, see, me and my friends, we need to get to Eridus. And uh, we spoke to your booze bag of a former captain. And based on what he says, it seems like you're going to be going right by there. Now... I'm going to be quite candid with you. He offered us quite a good bit of coin to kill you and to win over his ship back. But I figured, why try to spend a week drying him out and then dethroning you from your newfound glorious position as captain when I could simply come over here and offer my assistance with the issue that I've heard you had, which is without your pre-mentioned booze bag of a captain, you don't have the coin to get this fucking ship off this fucking tree and i know for a fact that with my connections in the city and with my friends connections in the city we can certainly get you a sponsorship i see so you have been in contact with lestor yeah it's quite the uh interesting fellow there not a big fan of you these days <laughs> beautiful name <laughs> No, I would certainly imagine not. All bathing, if, for that matter, it seems. <laughs> so he he told you that we required his coin to leave the city. Ah, he said he does not believe that you have the coin to fix your ship in a timely manner. Oh, Lestar. He was a fool from day one. I was an idiot to join on with him, but alas, that's not our problem anymore. Look at all these people around you. Do we look like we're a fucking cruise ship for your pleasure cruise? I don't care where the fuck you're going. We don't need more crew members, especially not ones that come in here trying to start fights with our own crew. There's a hierarchy. There's a way that our ship operates, and this is certainly not how it happens. So the hierarchy of your ship and the way that it operates includes mutiny, then? When it's my ship, it's my words, and you watch your tongue. All right. Well, you know, me and my friends, we can find another way off of this tree, and we can leave you here. It's fine with me. Then like go. I said. Then go. Find your other way off this tree. I, don't, I frankly don't care. You have two seconds to get out, otherwise I'm making everybody fire their bolts at you. Get out of my face. I don't want to see you ever again. Oh, cheers. I'll get up and walk away. Cheers. She laps up some more milk. Away with you. And you, dancing boy, I don't know what this is, and it's it's strangely sensual, but I, get out! No more! <laughs> well, you don't pay for my service. Get out! She, t she takes uh, like a roll and throws it at you. Can I try to catch it? Uh, yeah, I want to make an uh, attack, a raise attack. Okay, go ahead and make a, make a dex check. You don't have like missile Wait, stare or anything, do you? I did the wrong thing. Wait. That's a, a yeah. 
Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sorry. Mid dance, you open your mouth, and it lands right in your mouth. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm for anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and then just walk away. Out. Get them out of yeah. And at this point, Pregar, like three or four of them kind of come up and they're not pushing you, but they're very much in your in your personal bubble and they're all kind of like getting you ready to go out. What are you doing, Pregar? Uh I'm looking at Talv, is he walking away or what is he doing? Talv, what are you doing? Walking towards Pregar. <clears throat> okay, so as Talv like walks past me, I'm gonna walk behind Talv. Like his guard okay. kinda I'll whisper I'll whisper to him and be like so much for no force and just kind of look around the room at everybody and just kind of mosey towards the door okay just, headed towards the door okay are you following she made yeah she's not gonna fuck with us so what options we had to go with her are another way she, there seems like that ship has sailed so just gonna uh, walk out yeah so on the way out uh, towards, oh, sorry uh but uh, your pokemon yield yeah that's my <laughs> camera alarm um but yeah so um on my way out towards the door you said, a, you said uh a lot of you said a lot of customers left did they leave any yeah. like full drinks yeah start like picking that? up yeah, just pull like like just like try to like you know try to scoop a couple like this and then just on my way out and then i can offer them yep. crew, like. yeah uh sure you got Roll for this. Why not? Fuck it. Oh Jesus. Uh, yeah, you're able to scoop up six <laughs> mugs of ale. Uh, most of them are half full, and you also get three uh, like goblets of wine. So yeah, you're, you've got them like all in your hands. Okay. And then like I'm you're working like, at Applebee's. Yeah. I'm gonna just like do a little like <laughs> shake my ass like on the way out, like put a little hip into it. Okay. Just, um, it's very awkward as uh, you're uh, clank, 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 like clanking. Yeah. Very very nice. Very very. Um, Overly sexual, uh, Open Zuka. The door what are you with doing? My hips, you know, one of those. Okay. Zuka, what are you doing? So everyone is out of right? What's that, Zuka? Is that everyone has like left her general her general area now at this point? Yes, it looks like they're all headed that way, and all eyes are basically on them. Okay. And which direction are they heading? Like this way or this way? Yeah, they're heading direct directly north, where the, um, okay. the main door is, like this one right here. Okay. So I, <clears throat> I and no one has noticed me so far in, at this point. As far as you can tell, no. Okay. I, I would like to go and like a, uh, and approach kind of that same area. Um, and is there someone still standing guard to get towards the tabaxi? Uh, there. Yeah. There's. So as you get a little bit closer like just trying to because mm-hmm. you were able to hide in the corner pretty well but as you get a little bit closer you realize that with the mi- number of people that are kind of surrounding this little space there probably won't be a way to quietly get in there um you probably have to be a little bit louder <sighs> and okay. a little more obvious well i mean i'm not trying to be quiet or sneaky i just want it to seem like i'm not associated with that group but just wanting to go try and see if i can go talk to her so can i go up to maybe one of the people that's like i don't know if it's the guy that crank our head button, but just walk up to see if I can talk with someone. That's okay. Like- yeah. So from this angle, uh, there's, there's like this female with a very nicely like braided pirate outfit. Uh, she's very dark skinned. Uh, and she, she, as, as you start to approach, she kind of bumps the guy next to her. Who's got this like full grown kind of goatee. And he turns himself. He goes, oh, we got here. And she, shing, she pulls out her big scimitar and says, you, what do you want? <clears throat> and wish to speak to your captain. The day is not the day. Hmm. It's concerning the artifact that was on your ship. Uh, make a persuasion check. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> uh-huh. Stay right here. Go get him. And then she turns to, the, to her companion. The companion turns back and like slowly walks back, giving you the eye. Uh, disappears behind the uh, the <clears throat> Hey, DM, while you're... I know he's walking up and talking to her right now. Yep. Uh, what he's done, I just want to let you know, I've walked out of the tavern with Praegar, and while this is happening, I'm going to immediately say something to him and start doing something. I just want to let you know it's, I want it to happen at the exact same time. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, we're all tied enough. Okay, uh, she's... He slowly, he like ducks out. The guy with the goatee ducks out and just gives her a nod. She goes, all right, come with me. 
no, sorry, no, that's wrong, wrong. All right, come with me. And she, she gets behind you and kind of angles herself to where the scimitar is not exactly like pressing into your back, but you can definitely feel it as it bumps against your, your robes and stuff. Um, you start to head into where she is. Um, and then Talvin, what are you doing? Um, Okabar, did you come with me? Yes, I followed yes. you right now with all those ales. As soon as we walk out and I walk out of the front door of the tavern and I know that there's no one with the area shot, I'm going to turn around and go, a lot of men in there, don't you think? <laughs> yes, as I offer something. So, uh, if there's a lot of men in there, there's probably not a lot of men guarding the ship and you and I, neither one, have stolen anything in quite a long time. <laughs> oh my god, this is a great idea! I'm listening. And we're so I figure me and you... If me, if me and you, uh, me and you go full stealth mode, pray God Mosey's around in front of the ship, does a bit of a roar if anyone comes looking, so that we can get the fuck out of there. Let's go fuck this bitch's shit up. Uh, why not? All right, so me and me and Okabar will go directly to her ship. Uh, okay. We're gonna go sneaky and we're gonna scout it out. We're gonna see who's around, guards around. Yeah, whatever you want to do. With. I, before that, I, I get so inspired by this, like, or like I get like hyped up for this. I just, I'll, I'll give you an inspiration for my, it. I'll mark it off. I put my shit down and I just like just take one of the goblets, one, take a good chug, and then flick it over my shoulder. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Gonna, all I'm right. Gonna, I'm, gonna burn, I'm gonna burn an inspiration for him too, just in case we need it while we're in there. Did you tell me you guys are going? Yeah, you're standing right next to us. All right. So, pray God, pray God, linger behind us. If they start coming back to the ship. Uh, do one of those crazy roll things you do. I'm sure we'll hear it. Okay. Uh, simultaneously, <laughs> hey, Jerry, as they, as they walk by, hey, Jerry, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, Jerry, what are you doing as they walk by? They're they're heading on their way out. Did you follow them? Me and Okabar haven't rolled stealth rolls in a while. So, um, so I notice they leave, and I don't want to seem like I'm a part of the group because I clearly don't look like I am. Uh, I'm gonna keep throwing my ale, keeping an eye on Zuka that's still there, and then after a while, I'll either walk up to the chick and try to bother her myself as a separate party, or depending on what, what happens with Zuka, I'll go ahead and leave my own flurry. I'm gonna s okay, I'm gonna say make a make a stealth check to see how stealthy because you did come in like 30 seconds after the party itself so go ahead and make a stealth check real quick like what but i don't look like them i also didn't walk up with them to like talk to her and confront her the first time you just take its headdress off this is true you also don't look like anybody else in the crew yeah so i'm gonna say I make it make a stealth check can't use magic, so I can't even buff myself, son of a bitch. <clears throat> okay. Alright, so you, so you three guys are outside. Y'all are kind of uh, conversing, um, <laughs> planning on your next uh, terrible idea. Zuka, as you round the corner, you see the tabaxi, and she has a full milk mustache at this point. <laughs> And she looks at you and <laughs> That's disgusting. You're kind, of, you're kind of shoved into a chair. Uh, and you you kind of roughly sat down. There's there's two large big thugs on either side of you. And this time she takes the uh, the one that, that brought you in, the, the female, she takes the curtain and shh, closes it down. Uh, it gets considerably darker when this happens. There's only a couple of uh, like candles in this area, and these these are very thick velvety curtains that enclose this entire table. You're in here. There's there's uh, two thugs on either side of you at this point, and the female that was there, she's just kind of waiting outside the door at this point. Uh, and there's still, and she's looking at this really strange coal bulb that's just sitting there um, holographically. But there are there's there's one one person over on the side. He has very kind of long wavy hair, um, almost kind of like a, a sexy looking fellow. He look he's a very handsome fellow. Uh, and then to the immediate le left of the tabaxi is a short haired. Uh, it looks like a massive, massive woman. Um, she she has some tattoos that are that are kind of sprinkled down her the side of her face, and they look like they continue down her neck. Um, she's in this large half plate, and she's very silent as she's just sitting there with her arms crossed. Everybody has very scowly faces at this point, and the Tabaxi leans forward. She says, "So this seems to be the day for interesting fellows. Tell me." 
Who are you and what do you want? I won't waste your time. This is going to be a short conversation, but I believe that you may have had some cargo delivered to this uh, this city that may belong to my organization. But I just wanted to see if you would share some details about your delivery that you've made. I don't know where you heard such rumors from. We are simply just uh, your average smugglers. We had some spices and some jewels, and that's why we're here. I don't know what artifacts that Lestor has been spouting off. Hmm. It wasn't Lestor who informed me of the delivery. But with that being said, <clears throat> are you familiar with uh, Casador and the Sacred Urns? You must excuse me, but a history lesson is not my most favorite means of relaxation. So no, I know the name, but nothing more. Mm. Well, if you could just tell me where someone in this city might be uh, interested in purchasing rare artifacts that uh, you may or may not have delivered. That's all I ask, just as a, an interested party. <laughs> Rare artifacts that obviously try your auction house or some pawn shop or go somewhere else. Don't go bothering uh, captains of airships when it comes to artifacts. Who is this guy? Well, if that's the case, why, why did uh, your crew bring me to you and why are we having such a private meeting? If because... There was, uh, artifact. You seem to be quite rude, and you barged in on our private party. So, in a gesture of good faith, I will give you ten seconds to move to the door. Hmm. Okay. Our conversation you, is over. You were through. It was a short one. Farewell. Hmm. All right. Thank you for your time. And I'll stand up and I'll walk out. She takes a hit of catnip. You stand up, start heading towards. Okay. Are you walking straight out the door? As well as I'm leaving, do I do I notice like anything strange about any? Of, I know you described some of the crew members or anything that you know. Do I see, you know, any big piles of money or anything like that? That anything strange that I should, would notice would be unusual. Make a perception check for me. Oh. <laughs> pretty good. As the as. The the tabaxi closed her paws you saw that there were several very thick very uh luxurious rings on her fingers um they were like you know i'm talking large diamonds large rubies large emeralds um she also had a very finely woven finely woven necklace and the scabbard at her side the sword had it looked to be completely jewel encrusted it was a very very uh wealthy acquisition um that thing looks like it would cost a, a pretty penny uh most of the other crew, they seem to be pretty pretty sparse. But the captain, um, uh, Colbert, she seems to be like she's done rather well. So there's there's a large amount of shit on her. Okay. She's wearing Super Bowl rings. <laughs> Basically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Suzuka, do you head straight out? Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll head straight out of the tavern. I'm, not, I'm trying to seem <laughs> inconspicuous. Okay, and the large half-orc figure, as, as you're walking by, he kind of leads forward to you and says, and don't forget to take your feathers from with you. <laughs> he's and trying I'll to plug his, his nosebleed. I'll say he's not. I'm not with him. And I'll keep walking past. Okay. Uh, make a deception check for me. He's not real bright. Is <laughs> he brighter than the five? <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like he said all of that and was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's or he's me. like, yeah, oh, aviary? No, no, he's not with me. He's like, knew his me. name. So. Yeah. <laughs> so as as you walk by, there's like three or four guys that are. Yeah, there's there's so four of the guards that were kind of like just just watching over everything. They're following Zuka, and as Zuka starts to pass up Aviary, they all kind of stand up like like lunch bullies at a at a high school. Uh, they all stand around the table where you're sitting. Uh, you have your empty uh, your ale glass there. Hey, it's time to be moving on. 
Do you want to play cards? Oh, I said it's time to be moving on. Oh, you got your ass kicked. Oof, all right. You're about to get your ass kicked, boy, if you don't move right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. As I get up, do I notice it all? Where did I notice the Xanthar is either gone or where? What are you doing? Make a perception check for me. Get Xanthar stealth. Oh, Ooh, that's gonna be a hard one. Yeah, it is. Especially considering when I have a whole new pull out his stupid. It's plus roll. ten. He usually rolls. <laughs> I believe that's right. I believe you're right. Yeah. Plus 10. Doesn't matter what he rolls. Uh, no, he's got a plus eleven now because he leveled up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, man. He that yeah. I no idea. Mm -mm. He is that kobold is that kobold was dancing. It distracted you. I'm surprised they haven't threatened the kobold yet. They've threatened everybody well, else. I know. Well, as, as you walk out, you turn around, and you look, and there's, there's a group of them like standing around and like like passing their hand through it, and they're like, oh, like they're they're just playing with it essentially at this point. They have no idea what to do with it. Okay, so as as Aviary and Zuka kind of step out, you guys see that Talvarin, Okabar, and Prager have have started to make their way towards what looks like to be the docks. At a certain point, uh, Okabar and I will break off. Are going stealth. We don't want to be seen approaching the ship. Okay, so are you guys going straight to the ship? Yeah. So straight to the ship area, and then stealthy and then together try to scope out what we see are there guards are there people rounds you know kind of get a lay okay. of the land and figure out how we're going to get on this boat if we're going if we're gonna do we want to wait okay. for the rest of the group or are we going to do this did we notice where yeah, they we, went we, too far by the time me, we i think uh, i'm going to kind of just push okabar off into the shadows and we're just going to disappear we're just going to go okay okay so talvern function or talvern Prager, and okabar Sorry. And then Pragar, Pragar, I, I mean, I'm not speaking for him, but I figured he'll just keep kind of walking normal in the street, like just taking any focus off of us doing what we're doing. Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see. So, so just Talvern and Okabar are gonna go back yeah. up the ship. Pragar's Prager. gonna. Well, I mean, if 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 he's gonna do what I said, I asked him to, I asked him to linger around the boat and to, and to make some, make some sort of ruckus if they start coming back, because <laughs> last thing I want to do is get caught by a hundred guys in their ship. So. <laughs> Okay. That's kind of our little like plan. Me and Okabar are gonna dip. Pragar is gonna kind of just mosey around the ship, acting like he's just not doing anything. Let okay. us go through. Come back. Zuka, Aviary, as you guys exit, you see in the distance, and it's very easy to see him because he's the only large, you know, eight foot tall dragonborn in the city. Uh, you see Pragar kind of just moseying, not walking with any particular hurry in a certain direction. Drunkenly mumbling. <laughs> What are you doing? Kaka, Pragar, Kaka. Okay, you're you're yelling at him. No, it was it was sarcastic because I'm walking no up. Like, so is the rest of the where's the rest of the group? Are they at the end still? Do we know? Uh, hold on, is what now? Where's the rest of the group? Of y'all's group? Yeah. So Talvern and Okabar have gone off into the shadows to try to jump onto the ship. Zuka and Avery have come behind you. Function is still back at the grandfather's house. And Zan, you have no idea. Okay. Oh. Zan is a student, but he could have left. <laughs> me, 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 me. If y'all want to head up to the ship, I'll basically me, stand me, me, guard me, me, me. and see if anybody comes this direction. Okay, now the, the ship itself is probably half a mile away. It's on the other side of kind of the large branch. Okay. And are we right next to Prager, or we're still far from him, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so Zuka and Aviar, y'all are walking to catch up to Prager. Prager's probably a hundred feet in front of you guys. I mean, he's not—he's not like too, too far away. And Okabar and I were off with the quickness. Yes. So we're okay. So Talvern and Okabar need y'all to make running on down the dock. <laughs> yeah, make self check, so Talvern and Okabar. I'll walk up to Pragar and ask him where the other two went, and he'll tell me, I guess. They're heading to the Steel Feather. I don't know why there's uh, two versions of that. Yeah, that's weird. So one's a... What's your what's your uh, stealth modifier? Plus eight. Weird. I, I rolled a ten, I thought. Yeah. Yeah, you, you did. So it should be 18 in Talvin. Oh, I yeah. think that because I, I had this... 
I think a poison or something right here previously as a as a condition. I need to take it off. Sorry. Okay. No problem. Oh, that makes sense. I think I've okay, had so that issue ever since switching to Firefox, to be honest. Or okay, so and God, just so you're aware, I'm not necessarily trying to be as stealthy getting to the ship. It's when we get to the ship and start looking around that I'll want to, like, not be seen at all. So it's just, I want to be, I don't want to sacrifice moving quickly to get within the proximity of the ship to try to be super stealthy, if that makes okay. sense. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, well, that makes sense. Once we get there, I want to be really quiet, but I want to get there quick to give us, give us as much time as we can before they get kicked out of this tavern. We got to deal with them. So, I'm sorry, I'm just screaming two-year-old trying to get in my room. What is the... What are you trying to do to the ship? I missed that part. I, okay. We're, we're going to go look around. Maybe we find the artifact. Maybe okay. we find... Okay, okay, so you're just maybe. going to the ship. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, okay, maybe are we, we steal stealing the, the ship? What are we doing? Maybe we, steal, maybe we steal the artifact and burn the ship down. Who knows? We'll see. Cool, cool. cool. I'm gonna. This ain't well, our first ship we'll steal. I'm gonna lean into A and. Oh, we find that artifact. We're gonna steal it for sure. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Okay, what? I just saying, I'm just gonna lean in, tell Ave and Pragar, hey, I'll be right back, and I'm actually gonna head back to the grandfather's house and go get function. Okay. Sounds good. And that, and since that is kind of lower down, it'll probably take uh, 45 minutes to get back maybe with him. That's fine. Yeah. If he's ready to go. Because mm. mm, yeah. Fuck's well, not rested and he's at one hit point. How long has it been since we've gotten him? Well, yeah. We left him. It wouldn't have been an eight hour rest, that's for sure. No. I don't need yeah. eight hour rest, right? I need yeah. a... Hold on, let me get back to you on that, but Continue. Four. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. it's uh, either four or six hours. So it just depends on how long it's been, really. But it's not. I don't need an eight. But. Well, God, how long has it been? Because yeah, if he was going to go, wouldn't he? Wouldn't be able yeah, to get you, out of. You would still need. You still need eight hours considered a long rest to heal up, right? Uh, no, I have a century's rest, which allow. And I'll throw it up there. Give me. Yeah, a go ahead and do that because I, I don't know if I think that might work for abilities and refreshes like that, but I don't know if it works for hit points as well. Well, I know for me, I get the four hour to. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's you accomplish a full long rest within a shorter time frame, if I recall. Okay, then if that's the case, it's by all means. But it's it up anyway. Let's check. How long has it yeah, been? It's, think? Yeah, it's been, been like an hour. Oh, well, it's it's it doesn't even matter. No. Yeah. Yeah, it hasn't been too long. Because they got there, they got there. We talked and we came straight up here. Yeah. yeah so it, it was not yeah. much. Yeah. Much yeah. Break. Okay. All right. So it, there, there wouldn't be a point to get me right now. Okay. All right. Well, there, actually, I'll say never mind. I was just, just a thought. Thank you. I appreciate. Cool. It. That makes my plan doable. Because what I was gonna say is, hey, you know where that ship is, right? We should go <laughs> catch up with Talv. Yeah. By the way, Pragar, I lost Zan. I don't know what happened again. But. You lost, you lost Zan? Yeah. It's already going on his own, I guess. Did Pragar explain that Okabar and I are trying to sneak onto the ship and just kind of yeah. scout no, just I, going to the ship. I just saw y'all going to the ship. Alright. Because I, well, I guess you told me in the tavern you were just head to the ship. No, when, when we walked out of the tavern, I said to you and Okabar, I said, there's a lot of men in there, which means there's probably none of the ship, and we haven't stolen anything in a long time. So let's go get on this boat. Okay. And he real pumped, and we took off. Okay. And then I asked you if you if they come back, roar or something, let us know to get off the boat because they're coming back. Yeah, but uh, you're we're nowhere near the boat yet, right? I mean, we're a quarter mile away, and him and I just took off after okay. it. So I mean, with how fast we move, I don't think it'll take but ten minutes for us to get there. Okay. No, it won't take long at all. Five minutes. <coughs> don't you? Hey, hey, what are you doing this time? Well, well I'm gonna go ahead and kill them, then I'm gonna catch up to them, and I'm gonna fly off towards Talvin Okawar. Okay, you're flying that way? Yep. Okay. Not too high. Just like 20 I'm feet. I'm keeping an eye out behind us to see if any of the crew or anybody's following us. Okay, not a problem. Um, and you're going with your... Are you still just kind of wandering in the street? Or are you heading towards the, the boat, uh, Pregar, the ship? Well, I'm going to get closer to the ship and then go, kind of just stand guard and basically roar if I see anybody coming. Or can you? I was about to say, can you throw up that, uh, that dock scene? Yeah, I'm... Yeah, hold on. I gotta make a few adjustments because there's a couple of things I didn't see coming, but no problem. Uh, Knocking on wood that me and Okabar don't 
step onto the deck of this ship and roll natural ones like me and Frank Guard did for that check when we were on the way here. <laughs> and it's booby trap. Yeah. <laughs> One thing I'm thinking though is like if they do if they do catch us, it's not like they can magically alert the others. So some of you have to run and go tell them and then come back. But this is true. Yeah, I could take care of that. You could have like an alarm bell or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't That's know. Assuming we can. Is plus ten and my plus eleven. Both are gonna let us down. That's unlikely. <laughs> we'll see though. Yeah. Okay. So as you guys begin to approach. Uh, hold on, let's show you guys. There you go. Okay, you guys are up here. Uh, as you guys begin to approach, and the ship is over here, uh, you do see that there are there is a, kind of a skeleton watch on this ship. Which itself. one? Which one is it? It's the one off to the right. I'm bringing it oh, over so here. That's, so that's who we see there. These yes. people. Yes, that's correct. And there's there's a couple of watches. It looked like there might be something. Um, yeah, basically, uh, make a perception check. Whoever wants to, and I'm gonna say it's with advantage. Uh, Oka Bar, I think that's you, right? Zuka did it. Okay. Oh, he's not with us. Yeah, Zuka, you're not with him. You're, 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 you're going to get function, right? Not a boy. You're not with us either. All right, uh, Oka Bar. Well, you said whoever wants it. to, so I just wanted to. Play. He's talking to me and him. That's true. That's true. You're, you're good. No worries. I don't know. I just want to roll. That's an advantage. From okay. your hospital bed, you see everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, you turn on the television, and uh, no. So uh, let's see. Here. So as you as you can see, as you look up there, you see that there are several sentries on top of the ship on the first deck. You do see that there might be some movement. You see what might be either the swaying of of lanterns in in the hold or something. But through some of the the ports on the side, uh, you do see that there's what looks like light movement. From um, having been in airships and even being on our airship. Would I know that there is like port, like hatch access or something under or on the sides or in the belly of the ship to get into the internal of the ship? Just from what I know about airships having spent a good bit of time on ours. That is a good question there. Um, I'm going to make you roll. Make an intelligence check for me. Do I get, a, do I get advantage? Because I'm sitting with Okabar asking him, like, is there a way we can get on the ship without going? No. Okay. No. Nope. <laughs> I gotta ask Let's every try. time, man. I gotta ask every time. No, nope, okay. you got to. Uh, intelligence, which is probably my worst thing, because Tal is not very smart. Uh, let's see. So I do get jack of all trades. Do I get jack of all trades for this? You would actually. So plus two. Mm. I don't remember what ships are. So, <laughs> what'd you roll? What was it? Four total? Uh, um, you're yeah. pretty sure this might be like one of those... I think that's uh, the boat. <laughs> is it a Thunderhead frigate, maybe? Uh, you're not sure. You saw some models at one point, but you do know that the, it looks like they're loading up things on the opposite side, up and down the gangplank on the other end. Um, it's got big ballistas on it that it looks scary um there's a bunch of pirates on it okay let me ask this Do, does this look like her crew or the dock crew the guys loading up not the guys on watch those are obviously uh people. yeah the, the guys, guys loading up are they definitely look like they're just they're just laborers they're just okay. so they, they, are, all in they, way. Look, they look like they work here at the port not part of the part of the ship part of the crew you know that's right that's right i'll go ahead and throw some down there and they're actually called right. Right. So I'll lean over to Okabar and I go, we can, we could certainly go grease those dark workers. I'm sure just a little bit of flash of gold uh, could get rid of them and we could so, take over their duties. Or do you just want to go straight in, try to be unseen, just sneak in without being seen? So I'll another thing you, you do notice before you answer, before, another thing you do notice is that there's a giant gaping hole in the side of the ship where even from that was Zuka and so Neither of you know this. Yeah, there's a giant gaping hole where it looks like there's giant scorch marks. Um, there are some people inside that are like <laughs> hammering at it. There's a bunch of like fresh timber on the ground. It looks like it's- Are they wearing uniforms, like, the dock workers and the people doing the construction? And are they just like, do they have anything that identifies them as employees of the- the? No. Okay. At this now, they're they're pretty pretty shoddy. I mean, you have like you have like aprons with like utility tool belts and stuff. These look like just your typical artisans that have been hired to do a job. There's it's not like it's you know. Um, could, so, so like I said, Fernandez brothers. 
Okay, we could you? go. We could go say, "Hey, we've been sent down to help. What what needs to be done?" And then just let them let us on the ship. So, yeah. Let's rock around and go check out what we can check out. Honestly, I think some way that we can get on the ship and start kind of some kind of like smoke or fire. And that's the way we can get everybody off the ship. Uh, those workers, everybody would just want to just evacuate the ship. Uh, I think nobody, nobody. Are you mind me when you say that? Nobody, to get off. Hold on, hold on. Nobody yeah. would know about it. I mean, especially because the ship's under construction. Are you by me when you say that, Okobar? No, we're by ourselves. Okay. Yeah, so we can start some kind of something that starts with smoke, you know, or anything. So, what do you think? Do we go. We go they pretend to be possible. Go so at, be, at this point, Avery does catch up. We pretend to be part of the dock workers, get on the ship, sneak around, see what we can find as far as clues, maybe even the artifact itself, uh, to make a distraction with a bit of smoke to make them think the ship's on fire. And when everybody clears out, we just walk out like we went over there. Yeah. Is that what you're thinking? And I'll stand on the right. edge just like this, you know, so hopefully someone sees let, me. Let me... Let me approach them. Let me approach them and try to convince them that I'm with them. Um, I don't want them. If they say no and they tell me to fuck off, I don't want them to have seen you. And maybe you can try to just sneak on bl blindly at that point, unless you want to walk up together. It's yeah, I'm cool and with. Uh, I'm, I'm cool with that. Uh, if I say that I'm here to work and they put me straight to work, I'll be like, "Where is that other guy?" And I'll be like, "Hey, come on, are you pissing?" And I'll call you over or something. <laughs> hey, hey God, where are we right now? Like somewhere around here. Yeah. So you guys, you guys are all over here. Um, Aviary has joined you. Pregar is is trotting up behind. Sorry, you guys are all I together now. I don't see. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. Okay. So uh, as Pregar walks up, I'll just kind of tell them. There are dock workers fixing the ship, loading it up that are not part of a crew. Okaba and I are going to try to just blend in and sneak on and see what we can find. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but please, someone keep an eye out. If the crew starts to come back, we're going to have to get the fuck out of there fast. And no magic, please, for the love of God. No magic. Any thoughts before we go? Hey, DM, from the view of this map, which direction is the sun facing? The sun does not necessarily shine in the city of leaves. It's kind of a permeable, okay, right. eternal twilight. Right. Cool. Perfect. Then I, uh, I'll i go ahead and listen and agree to their plan and let them do their thing. I'm going to go ahead and keep watch by perching up on this uh, chimney up here. Okay. Good man. All right. Um, if nobody else has any comments, I will, I will go... Up I'm gonna the, be on the roof and use like leaning back on the chimney so that way people like I'm I'm better hidden by the line of sight and oh, cool. like, you you are looking to hide though aviary um I mean I'll crouch down but I'm I'm not gonna like try to like hide I guess I okay know. then everybody like, can see you at this point specifically like on the on this what where so they're uh -oh. loading. They're loading here, right? Okay. That's so what, what I'm gonna to do? What I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna walk by here. I'm gonna pick up some of these planks and I'm gonna walk them down. And when I get there, let me know and I'll start role playing it. Okay. Okay. Uh, I was gonna see if I could uh, if I could sit like on a ledge right here, somewhere or somewhere where I can see like or vantage point, like, you know, to see what's going on, and then just like flip a point of copper or something. Okay. And Prager, what are you doing? I want to be in a spot. So, how many entrances are there to the dock? Is it just this one area, like right here, that they can walk through? I guess if they're coming from the tavern, or if any of the crew is coming through. Uh, they they would be the most direct route is going yeah going kind of the way you guys came in. This is kind of almost a cul-de-sac that you guys enter in here. There's some storage warehouses along the edge here, and then it all leads around to eventually uh, this loading ship right here. Okay, so I'm gonna stand I guess kind of like in this area just to kind of keep an eye out for any crew members or anybody that maybe we saw at the tavern coming back to the ship. Part of the crew. Okay. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Okay, Okabar, I'm going to make you make a perception check. Aviary, make a perception check. Uh, Talvern, you're going to make a strength check as you pick up those timbers. And Pragar, uh, I'm going to make you make a perception check too. Zuka, you're heading down to get function, right? Can I use my inspiration? I think we decided that. Am I coming to go get your function? Yeah, come get me. Okay, I'm coming to go get, get me. 
Just come get me. Oh, my um, God. So it's been an hour, right? Hey, 16. Oh, yeah, an hour. I've been doing so, push -ups. Can I roll a natural a, one on my perception hang check? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I take a short rest and then roll hit dice? Is that okay with you? Got a boy. Mm -hmm. There you That's go. How you do it. Who knows the rules? Look at who knows the rules. Party. Okay, uh, Zuka, I need you to roll a d20 for me, please. Hey, you still have health potions in your inventory, I think, too. You no. You got down everybody else's throats. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Yes, please. Let's roll one d20. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Hey God, what do I need to roll for expression? Uh, your inspirations are D eights, Talbert, or D twelve. D ten. D ten. Excuse me. Shit. Nice. Okay. Nice. Double eight. Okay, Zuka. So as you as you get to the elevator, uh, you you see them starting to like load up as you're walking towards the lily pad, uh, and then you you all of a sudden see the the operator kind of pull it closed, and you you yell at him, and you start to to run away, and he's sorry, sir. We'll get you on the next boo. He, he <laughs> begins to slowly sink down. You stop. <sighs> so it's going to take a little bit longer than you would imagine. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it have been would have been possible to jump to it? How high, oh. How high in the air are we? <laughs> you guys are half a mile up in the air. Yes, you can. You can try to jump. Sure. No. You can certainly try. So you don't want to jump? Keep us in the pad. jump. You want to jump? How far? You are 2,640 feet in the air. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, 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 I think he has enough dice to go in there. Okay, God, just getting so excited there. <laughs> oh man, I yeah. Force damage. Yeah, that would be <laughs> like. Too much oh. fall, bro. You could have chunked that, bro. You're like a better <laughs> version of Felix. <laughs> He's yeah. my God. Except right. for, I think monks have slow fall, but that's okay. We're beyond. Uh, God, I rolled a seventeen, oh. so uh, Talvern for the first time has actually run a strength check over five. So I'm like, <laughs> I've been doing push-ups in the morning, you know, pretending that I'm sleeping in like I normally do. <laughs> sure, uh, you you kind of look through the lumber a little bit, and there's there's really no way like you could. Eat, I mean, you really could pick these up until you kind of roll over and you find one that's. It, you you have to imagine that it's just completely rotted on the inside, and it's it's extremely light compared to the others. Maybe it's a different type of wood. You can't tell, but you uh, you heft it up, no problem. And you start to uh, you start to make your way uh, over there. Aviary <laughs> for the first time in years, uh, there's a small gap in the clouds that opens up, and the sun shines down right directly into your eyes, and you unfortunately you, you can't really see too much uh, from where you're sitting. Pregar. I asked about the sun. I know, that's what I'm saying. It, because because of uh, that natural one, it, it just just for a second, it just dazzles you a little bit. Yeah, uh, no, 14. <laughs> Still a natural one, and it's an ability check. Sorry. Um, Okay, and Okabar, uh, you see, you see them up on the up on the ship and everything, and they're they're kind of watching a little bit. Uh, two of them have crossbows. The ones that are that are closest to you in Aviary, uh, you can see that they they kind of point at Aviary up on the up on the uh, the roof a little bit. Uh, one of them notices you as he's he's walking along, but doesn't pay too much attention to you. Yeah, those two guys. All right, Talvern. So as you start to to walk a along the edge. Um, there is there is a foreman there, and he's this he's this larger kind of darker colored uh, dwarven gentleman. He's very very tall for a dwarf, uh, and he's he's walking around. Uh, he's got huge beard that's typical of dwarves, and he's he's directing people. And he's got a uh, he's got a big clipboard in front of him, and he's he's as people are, are walking in with with various supplies or whatever. He's he's looking looking. Okay, he marks it off. You go on ahead. All right, you come on next with the uh, what I was say what kind of wood is that? Is that oh. I, Aspen. I, I don't know. I was told to walk it this way. Uh, who told you? I can't. The boss. 
I don't know. They just, right. I'm, new. I'm sorry. I'm new. I don't know anyone's name. Um, I'm good at, I'm good at a lot of things. Um, I can, I can help. Um, t- just tell me what needs to be done. I, I appreciate, I appreciate the, the job. So whatever I can do to help, I'm here to help. Go ahead and make a perception or persuasion check. Hopefully this is better than the one I made in the fucking tavern. Eh, same as the one I made in the tavern. <laughs> right, so I'm good with armor. I can help load things. I what? All right, very good. Well, we need more nails. That's one thing that we certainly do need. Um, you can go help uh, Horcrux over there, Horcrux. And you okay. see this other dwarven fella kind of like, yeah. Hey, uh, you need another apprentice. Yeah. yeah. Did, there was another guy with. Did you see a big fellow? He, he we were sent up here together. Um, did you? Oh well, I show. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. All right, I'll just uh, kind of go over and go over and be like, "Hi, I'm, I'm here to help. What can I do?" Oh, uh, at that point, you see him. He he, he looks you up and down and like, "What is he getting me for? Have you ever swung a hammer before?" Um, w- once or twice. I mean, I don't want to get I don't want to get in your way. Um, can you I see go those bellows right there? Or sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Start pumping on those. That's what I'll need. Okay. All right. Okay. So, um, so is he? What's what's it look like right now? Am I directly next to him? Is he ignoring me? Just going back to work? Like, what's he doing? Uh, here. So, so this is the this is the guy like, that what I had. See, what do I see in my direct? Yeah, I'm, I'm out. I'm out here on the dock, right? Yes, yes, you are. Uh, you're gonna be right here uh, next to this guy. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. And so he's he's kind of like at the entrance of this thing, and they're they've got this extremely small kind of collapsible forge that they're just here, just king, king, king. And he's just slowly like he's putting out a, a basically these small like pre-made ingots, and he's just putting them down, hammering four times, like one on each side to get it into the square nail. And then he, he said keeps- something uh, something about nails. You, you do I need to take the ones you've already made onto the ship? Uh, you will in a minute. I've got to finish these up here. Okay. Yeah, push it over. He goes, uh, Delray over there will we'll bring him up. Don't worry. You just keep pumping that thing. King, king, king. Giggity. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> All right. Um, so I guess I'll spend a minute or two doing that. Okay. And okay. see. As I'm doing it, though, I'm seeing to see if I see Okabar, if he's going to approach and try the same thing, or if he's going to try to sneak on. And then once I see what he's doing, I, know, I already know what I want to do next, but I want to I want to kind of wait and see if I see him. Okay. Uh, Okabar, gonna... what are you doing? Oh my gosh. So with that procession check, do I see that, or is it by the ship? Uh, you see, you, you do see Talvin go over, have a short conversation with the guy with the clipboard, and he sends him over to the like small smithy that they're over there. Um, there are there are sheets of metal, there are large plates, but pretty much he's making what seems to be these small nails, tossing them into this small wooden bucket once they cool down, um, and that that happens for a couple of minutes. Uh, Talvin is <laughs> pushing those bellows uh, as best he can. Talvin, go ahead and make a strength check just to see how well you're doing. I want to. I want to purposefully do a really, really bad job. <laughs> like I want. I want. I want to do such a bad job. I'm actually making it harder for him to do what he's doing, so that he mm-hmm. tells me to fuck off. <laughs> okay. Make make a strength check. Okay. Just. Just yes. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> I mean. Like I want to make it seem. I don't want to make it seem like I don't care. I am earnestly trying, I am earnestly trying my best, and I am just god awful. <laughs> okay, <laughs> make a performance check then. Okay, that that okay. That's fair. I want to act like I'm really trying, and I'm really happy to be there and be working, but I'm just not very. I'm not. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. It's actually really, really hard, and it's hard to make it seem like you, you're trying when really you're struggling to even keep up. Uh, there's a lot of cursing. A it's lot not of hard cursing. to be bad at something when you're just actually bad at it. <laughs> yeah, you half-elven nitwit, get your ass in gear. Get, 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 the I'll, take, I'll take the nails you've made, and I'll take them. They're both, no, both no. nails. Oh, you've ruined this batch. 
Look, just just take these fucking nails and get them on the ship. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just need I just need to work. You know. I hey, can't, can't, just I'm fucking sorry. take them. Okay. Out so of I'll, just, I'll take the I'll take the bucket of nails and I'll okay. walk. Uh, let's see. Okay, Okabar, what are you doing at this point? Yeah, I'm gonna start walking toward the ship. So I'm gonna. Can I find like look around? Can I look around for like a crate or something that's like yeah, some kind of crate and just deliver it. Try to try to act like I'm delivering it to. You. I'm gonna pick it up and then try to act like you know I'm just dropping something off. Someone tasked me to. to okay, drop there off. are several boxes. Actually, there are several boxes right here. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Go ahead and, and roll a d6 for me, please. Yeah. Uh, you found a box with 10,000 gold in it. A two. Okay. Uh, right next to you, just kind of a, a, across the way, there are six boxes, uh, each of them containing just lots of moldy onions. Uh, can you can you smell it? Yeah. Um. Is there any way I can like dump it out or just like throw a bunch of shit in it and like close it together? Like maybe flip it upside down that way and like <laughs> sealed. Yeah, so a bunch of a bunch of onions fall out, a couple of them splash. It's a really terrible smell. Upside you, down able to, box. <laughs> yeah, turn it upside down and it Yep, okay, 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 no problem. Uh, are you gonna try to bring that in? Uh, before I do that, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab one of the onions, like kinda rub it on me. <laughs> Uh, and then um, pick up the crate and then continue to with my thing. It actually improves his smell. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, you actually smell a little bit better now. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, well, I was just trying to be dis- <laughs> my smell to be even more distracting. Maybe start crying on me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to take that, uh, I'm going to take that and I'm going to try to go the same way as Talv. Uh, I don't think I have control of my character on this. One, one second, guys. Hold on. Do your thing. Once, I'm, once we're on the deck. Hey, what's the name of the group, guys, that we're stealing from? Well, oh, they're, they're Lord. From, she might she might still be working with the broken eye. We don't know. But it's the crew of the steel feather, and that's all it is. Okay, and Okabar, you have like seven characters, so I'm I'm there's like Okabar, Okabar two, all that garbage. So that's why yeah. you never have control. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so as as you approach, you see the same guy with his clipboard, just kind of checking through a few things, and you walk up, and he he eyes you up and down, and he goes. Uh, do you have her delivery? Yes. No. All right. What is it? Where is it from? And who's it going to? I, just, I don't know. I, I just got this new job. Uh, trying to make end meet. When did they Can start I, hiring so many people? I don't know, but all I know it's from uh, Captain C. Cole, 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 man. Uh, make a persuasion check for me. So, <laughs> Should have saved that in Looked at it. Kind of looks at you over and he goes, Why would Captain Colbert be wanting onions? onions? Now, leave it over here with the other produce and we'll put it on later. Well, I'm also supposed to pick something up. Do you have orders with you? Sure. I don't know. I probably left them. Come back with your orders, and I'll, you'll be able to pick it up. But for now, just leave it over there with the rest of the produce. But I am in a hurry. I do have to go somewhere. Then you better hurry back with the produce. With the orders. Well, in that case, I'm going to just uh, walk off and try to find another crate. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you okay. walk up. As I get onto the ship with the box of nails, I just want to kind of set them set down and kind of, like, walk walk kind of away from where people are looking like I'm, you know, just like I'm supposed to be there. Okay. And then I want to see if there's a moment because I would, what I would do, what I would do is I would, here, let me grab my guy. I would set the nails down about here and then I would kind of move around here and then move over here and if I could get into this corner right here, I'd like to know if, if people are, if is somebody watching me? Is anybody tracking with me? Are that, they just doing anything? That can also I see what Tal's doing. Like when I was there, I'm sorry. You know, I'm walking in like a, a wide berth around the deck with this box. Okay, so you're you're just kind of circling on the deck. I just want to uh, see if anybody's watching me. If anybody's paying attention to me. Okay, there the, the the woman who's sitting right here, uh, she absolutely is just like 
watching the whole time. And as you as you get up and you look around, you realize that there's nobody else really on deck. It looks like they just come up and they drop off the supplies and they go back down the side. There's a lot of people like crawling up and down the sides of the ship. Is she she is looking at me. Yes. And she looks like part of the crew, right? Not part. She of definitely the, is part of the crew. Yes. Oh, uh, Miss, sorry. They said that there were builders working on a hole down below and they needed nails. I'm not familiar with ships really. How do I get down? She eyeballs you. Um, make a deception check for me. I need a good roll. I haven't rolled good today at all. I mean, it's still pretty good. Yeah, my deception's really high, luckily. Okay. This is a half of a woman. Uh, you do realize that her her um, her ears are much longer and more pointy, and her her uh, eyebrows are very very sharp, um, and she's very dark eyed to be uh, to be an elf. Um, so she's probably not from this area. Uh, she looks you up and down just as you ask this question, and she says, "Yes, I see that. Just put the nails over there by the side where they're they're working on the ship. The the crawlers will come up and get them when they need them. You shouldn't be over here." Oh, and she so points by the door to the stairs. She points over here, like towards the the railing of the ship, next to the gangplank. Okay. From where I am, do I see the do I see the way down into the ship? Uh. The, okay, so the the doors to the ship are like here and here in the foremast. Okay. So here's what I'll do. I will. Where did you tell me to put them? She told you to put them right next to the gangplank, which is right here, where so and you can I see them kind of going down the side. I will go here to the gangplank. Right, mm -hmm. I will put the box right on the ledge where most of the weight is towards the ship, where it's just inevitable that it's going to tip over and fall, and the nails are going to scatter everywhere. And then okay. try to walk over here to this door, and when the nails hit the floor, I'm down the stairs, rolling stealth as quiet as I can. Okay, all right. So because because you're trying to do this like sneakily, I'm going to say. Do a sleight of hand to see how how well you can time up the the setting of the box, the stepping away, like how how well you can time it all. Uh, doing here, uh, Zuka, as you're as you're sitting there, you finally see the lily pad come up, and it's the same guy. Goes, sorry so about the wait. Come on, on. So I can't sleight of hand is not something you can be perfect. Like What's that, Zuka? I was talking on the lily pad, and just kind of crossed my arms and scowled. Okay. Okay, and you're just sitting there scowling at him for like five minutes as he's waiting for more people to get on. It's just really, really awkward. Uh, the whole okay, time, Alfred. kept keeping eye contact the whole time. Uh, I think side of hand is not something you could be proficient at, right? So I would get, do I would get jack of all trades with that? Is that something you could be There's proficient? no slide of hand, yeah. Let me look. Proficiencies. Yeah, it's a dex. So it's... No, yeah. Side of hand is not on my proficiencies list, so it would be 14 then. Would be okay, 14? Just, to, just to, like, it all just in a couple seconds. Set the crate of nails down where it's obviously off kilter, where it's going to fall into the deck of the ship, and then just okay. walk away quickly, and when they hit, I'm just down the stairs. I'm not going to run or anything. I'm going to act like I'm supposed to be there, but I'm going to do it in a way where I'm going to want it to where everybody looks away and then they look back and I'm already down. Sure, sure. It's a diversion. I got you. Um, okay, so you set it on on the edge just, just where the weight's it's kind of tilting a little bit and you, you step back to the opposite side and right as she's about to say something, the ship kind of finally rolls a little bit and it goes... and just spreads all over the place. All eyes go to this... Uh, this huge just kerfuffle of nail ding, 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 just falling all over the place. Uh, the box itself has almost shattered, uh, and you see that there are some workers that are trying to, to hold a barrel across. One of them steps on a nail and starts to jump around. The barrel falls, just falls off the edge of the ship. Everybody's just in a complete, uh, just catastrophic conundrum there. Uh, right. You yourself. Yeah. Yep. Go ahead and make your stealth check. Oh, come on. I'm rolling so bad today. Okay. All right. And I need Aviary to make a perception check for me real quick. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Hey, uh, I'm going to be... Yeah. Guys, look at you today. Aviary, you see the same thing happen. Uh, you, 
<laughs> oh, the whole the whole ship crew kind of sees this, and you're able to finally zone in as the clouds close up. That light's no longer in your eyes. Uh, you see Talvern quickly steal away. Uh, you also see what seems to be the ship mistress uh, standing on the grates in there, and she's she's looking at the nails. But as soon as she hears the small click of the door closing, she cl- she turns around, looks for a second, and it looks like she begins to follow Talvern. Shank, so, shank, shank. <laughs> Talvin is downstairs. Guys, let's take a five minute break real quick. Uh, give me just a second to prepare the second half of this session. Okay? Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Guys, I have had I have had the best ideas and the worst roles of my yeah. entire life today. <laughs> I love it. That's why you know what? No can something go planning, right, please, for the love of God? You know what? No matter how much planning we do, it, it doesn't matter. It all comes down to a one a single roll, and you either pass or you fail. Guys, I, it's uh, awesome. I love it. All the shitty rolls that there are, and even though that she's going to walk down the stairs and see where I went, I'm still in the ship. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. So. Welcome. <laughs> If I have to get out of here, I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna run to the deck of the ship and just dive off and just hope and pray that every aviary sees me and swoops in and gets me. Hey, you can also just like jump inside the urn if you want. Yeah, and then I'll just become uh, the arch villain for the whole rest of the campaign. <laughs> and we don't even know it. <laughs> we were all worried about function. Turns out. It, it was Tal the whole time. I think it's fucking Zuka, man. I think he's plotting and scheming, bro. <laughs> he's the BBG for sure. You're yeah. going wrong there, brother. Yeah. Zuka's like, it'd be a shame if somebody murdered you all. <laughs> I'm just setting you guys up. Yeah. yeah. He's, just, he's just setting the dominoes up, slowly but surely, week oh, after week. Yeah, the chef. You need to have the chef. That would be fucking insane, though, as a DM move to bring in a player character like a guest and then bring that player character back as the villain at the end. That'd be a sick fucking move. Just saying. I'm not that smart. (laughs) Zuka's like, he figured it out. Now I have to wait two years and then DM my own campaign and hope that you guys forgot I said that. Ooh, is that what we're doing when we're done with Jared's? You're gonna DM to help? He's gone. Honestly, I'd do it. <laughs> it wouldn't. I doubt it would be as expansive or as long, just because of how much Jared is prepared for this. But yeah, I'd definitely do it. I'd like I to let Jared play for a stuck character solidly for a while, and I'd like to. I'd like to work on my DMing skills. So. Same for both. <laughs> Jared's ability to continue to make shit up, though, on this continent. We might be playing this campaign for 10 years. We might have to start another side campaign <laughs> so that we could do something else. Because <laughs> we keep causing these chains of events to happen. So even if we get through like the plot that he has designed with us, other shit can come back to haunt us. Done will have caused other events to happen that'll just spark things in his little uh, magic. Other shit can come back to haunt us. We're gonna accidentally start a war somehow. Like <laughs> he's been reading fantasy novels his entire life, and now he just gets to make one week after week. He's basically writing a fantasy comic where we we we. It's like all right, everybody, give me your ideas, and I'm just gonna write. <laughs> what sucks is that like. I've been reading all these things. I'm like, man, this is going to be great. And then you guys start reading too. And then like everybody's catching up and finding all these little Easter eggs and hidden points. Yeah. And I'm just like, well, I'm not as creative as I thought I was. Well, everything is a, every, every, everything is a reference to everything else. It's not like there's anything. I love it. There. I love it because I enjoy the characters that I'm reading about. And then I get to play with them yeah. in this world. So that's even cooler. Give me, so. give me any American storyline that's not just an archetype for Christianity and I'll be fucking goddamned. I swear to God. It's, that's how it goes, man. It's always the same thing. The savior complex. Think about like every every story all the way up from the epics. Yeah, yeah, there's only like ten original stories and then each one is just changed a little. That's what they tell you like you're, when I was like the when you go in to be a 
uh, English major and go in your first lit class, they're like, there are only three types of stories in the entire world. Yeah. And that's like the very first thing that you learn. I think there's like five. But the thing about D&D is Jared writes a story that we get to fuck up and then he has to re then he has to rewrite it, not based on his current plan of writing it, but on what we did to fuck it up. So it's just, we're all technically yeah. writing it together. That was so yeah, exactly. good though. Someone should someone should publish it as a or what I would read a book about what we've gone through so far for sure. <laughs> would be awesome. Josh, your your next book, um, sh you should pick up Kings of the Wild. Yeah, uh, man, it's I, I I am gonna take a break from the Stormlight for a while because I've been on it for months and I'm. Oh I've, yeah, I understand. Yeah, I've read. Sure. I've read. I think I've listened to 150 hours of Stormlight since I've yeah. done anything else. So I'm going to take a break from it and do something else. So I am looking for something else. But Harry Potter yeah. Wild is actually a perfect switch up. Yeah. If yep. For you, it changed. It's a whole ch tonal change. Yeah. Um, and if you like, like just what you were talking about, just what you were talking about is actually like how the book is written. Oh, cool. uh, and, and Jared can attest to that. Like he's the one who told yeah, me. Yeah, message me the name of it. I'll check it out for sure. I need. I need. Cool. I've been. I've been breaking from it and just going back and catching up on the podcast that I've been neglecting since I've been listening to it. Yeah, Casey, didn't you post something the other day? A new book that's coming out. I can't remember. Somebody did. Uh, like a fantasy book. I don't know. I'll have to go back and look. I remember when you whatever it was, I was like that. Well, King of the Wild is a pretty easy read, opposed to like I'm something heavy that you've been doing. So I think that's a nice yeah. little like lore, you to give you like a break. The lore in Stormlight is like damn near Tolkien esque. It's like so so yep. deep. And every yeah. time you think you're starting to get a grasp on it, they're like, oh, you're looking at the corner of a fucking gigantic yeah. canvas. It's like, yeah, yeah. Oh, I have no idea the fuck is going on, like, anywhere in the world. Well, you mean, you kind of do. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, as soon as the interludes start reading off of desk, bottoms of desk drawers and... Well, where are you? Where are you? Corner and... Uh, where okay, are you? so I, am, um, I literally am, like, an hour from being done with... Uh, Oathbreaker. Okay, so like, take like a break. He, he just went. He just went fucking Super Saiyan. You know what I mean? And it's exciting. Okay. I want to start yeah. the next one, but I'm like, I can't dive into that. No, 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 don't do that. Take a break, because I you need to read a couple more books. Yeah, the ones that you. Before you get. That, yeah, the ones that you yeah, bought the me. The ones Christmas that I sent. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, I mean, if you don't have to, but I would suggest that you do. You know, just to get a better understanding, For sure. um, those books kind of like really take a huge part in, um, and then also you'll recognize in one book that that sword that was in Oath Oathbringer, yeah, has a uh, big role to play in Warbreaker. Okay, cool. So yeah. Just FYI. Yeah, I'm definitely going to read them in the order you suggested. I, I yeah. trust you on that for sure. It's so hard. It's like, oh, I'll just jump back in our Discord and, and find what I was doing. But I'm like, which one did we post it in? <laughs> <laughs> well, I deleted the book one. Yeah. Because... I mean, you can't delete the bullshit corner though, because then no, I no no bullshit corner is perfect to book too. I need to be able to I need to be able to send you guys memes that aren't D and D related. <laughs> yeah 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 no I think bullshit corner is perfect for like books and anything else. Wait y'all got rid of the book one? Yeah yeah. yeah. I think we just decided if you want to talk about books, just post it in the bullshit corner. Yeah yeah exactly. Like bullshit corner is perfect for like everything else besides our D and D stuff. And I like the crit roll one too because at least at least yeah. if I. If I like super pumped on something that just happened, I have some yeah. to talk about without spoilers. And yeah. I don't know to check it. <laughs> uh, also, um, I found that they are also streaming it live on YouTube. I saw. Yeah, they're back However, on YouTube. It's not available next day or. Um. Day. Oh, it's available the same day. It's just streamed live now. Yeah, it's just streamed live. So you can't. It, so it'll probably be Mondays when they still release it on YouTube. But live stream, they do. 
Or if you're on Twitch, you can do it on Twitch. Okay. Yeah, I, I I typically try to watch just some of it on Thursday nights on Twitch. But if not, what I do is I just put it on and put my phone down at work and just listen to it like an audiobook while I'm at work. Yeah. The only time I need to look, I need to look at it is if they pull a map out or something and you want to go take a look and see what they're. Yeah. See what they're seeing. Are you caught up? Um, I am halfway through Thursday's episode, nice. so I will I will be probably by end of the day tomorrow. Cool. I haven't seen the last two, so I need to catch up. I see been good, man. I like <laughs> I like the Tomb Takers arc. It's been really interesting so far. Yes, it has. Yeah, I kind of like the way it's going. I don't understand. Tell me this though, so. Well, no, I don't want to do spoilers. I don't think anybody really cares. But okay, Jimmy, I care. Don't spoil. Okay, no, no spoilers though. But where, where were you at, Dave? He's far. Are you on the island? I am too far to even create that stuff. Wouldn't even make sense to me. But I just he doesn't okay. know the tomb table. No spoilers. Because you won't. You won't know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, Casey, mm. why have they not asked Lucian about Vokodo? Oh, before that? Yeah. Because that's when they all had that crazy dream about the city chasing them out and all that shit. And I'm like, somebody going to bring that up? <laughs> they're like, he's like, they're like, what do you know about this? And no one's going to mention that at all? Like, come on, guys. Like, say somebody should say something. I felt like he got addressed, or not addressed, but I felt like something happened about that. Like, I think he explained yeah. why they had that vision and it wasn't Bakoto. It was just because Vakoto was in the right in the yeah I know right. where he was and he was fleeing and he was fleeing from the same thing Lucian's looking for right so, right right somebody say something about it yeah okay do you guys see um, the ship uh, I see black excellent <laughs> most great. excellent great Tell me when you see something. Still nothing? Nothing at all? I don't understand it. Okay. Well, we're just going to have them all visible. How about that? Okay. For some reason, dynamic lighting is not working right. So, whatever. That's fine. Okay, so Talvin, we're gonna we're gonna start with you. Did not mean to do that. We're gonna start with you. You have just kind of walked in here, uh, Zuka. You're finally nearing the end of the, your elevator ride at the bottom. Prager, you're still not seeing anything. Okabar, you're uh, you're searching for another box, right? Yeah. What I was just gonna continuously do is just pick up boxes and just continuously deliver to them. And just be like, you know, this is part of the order, and just like just until they. Do basically overwhelmed if i can that's what, that was my goal i was trying to think we continued okay um i'm gonna say make a performance check because you are just like walking across like the other side of the dock and grabbing another box and bringing it back yeah okay i get that seems fair so you're, you're trying to like make it look like you're legitimately hard working performance and not not dumping out onions yeah performance check for me Oof. 11. yep <laughs> He's not the most perceptive. Door. Okay. Uh, yeah. By the time you get to your fourth box, he's just he's just like really like looking at you like what is going on. And he beckons you back over to the the pile where it's being kind of shut up there. Um, you you keep going, but you don't get the feeling that they're getting overwhelmed too much because I mean there's a large pile of boxes there that you're just kind of adding to. So, all right. So, uh, Talvin. You slowly enter through the bottom here, and you see there are a couple of workers on the inside who are who are helping kind of pad up the top of what looks to be the giant hole there. Um, this portion of the ship itself seems to be a little bit more um, beat up than the one above. Above, it looks like it's very waxed, uh, very well kept, and everything. But down here, it looks like there's 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 random bits of like sawdust of of random 
throwing rounds of, of wood, uh, wood scraps, things like that. And there are two, uh, two crew members that are just sitting there. They have their, their arms closed uh, and their arms crossed. And they're just watching the, the two workers kind of uh, doing their business. This is the entrance here. Uh, you can, you can climb down the steps here and go into the main hold. And then uh, if you, climb over here there's steps that go back down on that side all right i want to i'm gonna not trust that she you know that she was watching me so i'm gonna try to just slip right through here and drop down into the hold sorry slips where I, I missed your, your ping from where i am right so where i am in c3 right here mm -hmm. yep i want to just slip straight through that door and right down into the hold there okay uh, without being seen Okay, uh, you slip by, uh, and you do hear kind of a, hello, but you, you slip by real quick without, uh, making too much of fuss and you just want to go straight down. Yeah. Okay. And when I get down there, what I want to do is I want to look around and I want to try to ascertain, is this the place that they would keep, you know, what we're looking for, or what they're holding, or does it, you know, or does it just look like normal crap? And there's no sense. I also want to look for right. I want to look for secret compartments and doors or a vault or anything that's locked somewhere where they'll keep something that's very valuable. If there's if there's a place in the hold where they do that, I want to look. That's what I want to look for. Okay, so you're you're now on the crew deck. You're right here. You just came down the stairs. Did um, I go to the hold or to the crew deck? You went down to the crew deck. The hold is the very bottom of the ship. I'd have to go below the, the crew deck to get to the hold. Okay. That's correct. Yes. All right. So and if that's the case, sorry, I thought I was in the hold. I would want to check the captain's quarter. I was, if I'm going to go through the crew deck first, I want to, I want to try to see if I can get access to the captain's quarters. Okay. And if I, if I don't find what I'm looking for, I might go down to the hold, but we'll see. Okay. I need you to make two checks for me. I need to make an investigation and a perception check real quick. I need you guys to send me radar luck through the computer screen because I'm rolling so bad. All right. Tell me one more time. Investigation. And perception. and perception yes oh, sir okay so i don't have i get jack of all trades on both of these just a heads up i don't have okay to either one okay yeah it pretty worked. good rolls all I right so as birthday luck with his eyes <laughs> <laughs> so as you're as you're stepping down uh what you see in front of you immediately uh one of them has like a little small window slit. Uh, you can see that there's several like barrels and there are lots of large boxes. This seems to be kind of a storage compartment. Uh, to the right, immediately to the right, you see what looks to be the kitchen, uh, the galley, if you will, since it's on a ship. Uh, there are lots of pots and pans and spoons and stuff. Nobody's in there right now. And as you, as you kind of key down the long hallway, you see there are several crew bunks as well as uh, just rows and rows of hammocks. Luckily, you also rolled high enough on your investigation to where you can look past all those hammocks and you do hear very distinct snoring coming from several of those. Uh, you see straight down at the very far end is an ornate door that looks like it might be where the captain would stay. Okay. I would... Um, they're asleep. I'm here. They're, they're asleep. I don't know if I even have to... All you do is hear snoring at this point. There are Just several play. rooms that you would pass by as well. Okay. Uh, are any of the doors open to the rooms? Like if I pass by, no, so everything's batting down right now. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quietly just beeline straight for the door and okay, make another stealth check. Come on, digital dice, don't fail me now. Seventeen. All right, so you begin to tiptoe your way down, uh, slowly going by. One of the one of the doors is cracked open, and you do see that there's somebody in there who's at a desk. His back is turned to you. He's kind of looking out the window, um, a large person, but they don't seem to notice you as you start to step by, slowly Lord. going. The desk. Okay. Hmm. Nothing. Sorry. Okay. Uh, your feet do find a small squeaky board. But it's not too bad because the entire ship itself is still creaking, uh, being wooden like that. You eventually make your way up to where all the hammocks are. There are uh, there are three stacks of three tall uh, hammocks, so there's 18 hammocks uh, total, and you do see maybe a little less than half of those are all full. Uh, there's there are several several sailors that are in, at different levels of this uh, ship. They all look to be asleep. 
but you're not really too sure you want to continue going I'm through that. Quietly, I am still all the while pretending that I'm, I'm supposed to be there. I'm not like visibly being perceptive, but just okay. walking quietly like like anyone would when they're walking through a room of sleeping people, trying not to wake them. Okay, okay, very very just soft padded. You go to the door, uh, the very ornate door there. You is it locked? I wanted. I would want to check it from traps right out of okay. the gate. Go ahead and check for traps. Investigation. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was almost a 19. It literally not, can tumble. Not sure. You do know it's locked. All right, I could. I'll pick the lock. Okay, make a make a dex check for me. I feel like I have a. You have, have lock picks, right? Yeah. Okay. I have a thing for that. I have thieves. I have a bonus on thieves tools. Okay. Would I use thieves tools then? Yeah, you would use. So it'll tools. roll the dex check with the modifier if I go to thieves tools in my equipment. I think. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to steal today's game. <laughs> all right. As soon as this blows up, um, yeah, we'll I'm, back to I am a second away from Jenga. I can tell it's going to happen. Um, dexterity. These tools. Twenty six. Okay. You get in there, and, and it's a very well made lock. Again, this is an extremely ornate door, and you finally feel the click go through, and it seems to be unlocked at this point. You want to open the door? I want to. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Why not? Hopefully, it's not trapped. Okay, you open the door. As soon as you push it, you at the very top of the door, there's a small catch, a small lip that tr- trips the door open, and you hear a small ding, 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 ding. Uh, aviary and, and Okabar. Okabar, as you're coming back with your 18th oh, box I, of onions. Before we go, I want to immediately step inside the door, gently close it, and lock it back. Okay, we'll get to that. Function, uh, or sorry, Okabar and Aviary, as uh, Okabar, as you're bringing back your 18th box of onions, and the the dwarven fellow is just like pointing you on. He's just so tired of your bullshit. Uh, you begin to hear from the ship itself every bell simultaneously going dong, da dong, dong, da dong, dong, da dong. Um, Aviary, you begin to hear this as well. Uh, <laughs> um, Zuka, you finally are down, and you. <laughs> Just hauling ass, you finally get into the mansion where grandfather is. We'll go ahead and move everybody over to that episode real quick. Uh, function, you're just kind of chilling out by the. Uh, you feel a lot better. You're out of bed now. Um, you've had a you know a little bit of a rest to where you've gotten your wind back, and you're just kind of chilling out in the the uh, the courtyard. Azuka comes hauling ass in. <laughs> Not out of breath because he's in like superhuman shape, but Zuka runs up uh, and Zuka and function. You see Zuka approach you. Hey, how you feeling? Hello. Zuka. How are you? Good. You feel like you can get on your feet? We might need your help. Sure. And it takes me a while to get up. (laughs) Okay, okay. Uh, Zuka and Function, you slowly make your way, and you notice as you slowly get to where the lily pad is, it's the same guy, the same dude that's like... "Mm." He's like, come on, okay, that's enough. Stop, please. As soon as you guys get to the very front of the line, the lily pad is full, and he, he stops both of you, and he, he kind of looks at you and smirks, Bing! and then starts to move his staff again as it goes up without you, and you two are forced to wait another full elevator cycle. Man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to put that? my hand around Zuka, and I'm going to say, Zuka. You are a good friend. I'm feeling very euphoric right now. And this is a strange feeling. Thank you. And I give him inspiration. Okay. Zuka is now inspired for how long? One hour? Yeah. Or is it 10 minutes? Oh, gosh. Hey, Talvin, how long does inspiration last? 10 minutes. Okay, so he's now inspired for 10 minutes. Uh, it takes about as long for the, uh, <laughs> the lily pad to come up and down. So, uh, 
you guys as we, yeah okay we're back over here so was he uh, somebody inspiration or is he inspiring somebody the function gave zuka inspiration okay. yep so pragar as you as you're you're still watching for uh you know for the rest of the crew uh you begin to hear the dung da dung da dung da dung from the the very top of the Check of the out. ship itself all right what are you doing what do i sh- <clears throat> do i see anybody like running towards the ship from where i'm at uh, no, you see a lot of the workers kind of stop what they're doing, looking around a little bit. All of the crew people that are on the ship, they begin to immediately take alert. Um, two of them jump on the ballista that are in the front and the back, and the rest of them pff, immediately pull out their crossbows and tell everybody to get off the ship. Uh, they're kind of ushering people off. They're they're hauling people up who are who are dangled on the side of the ship, repairing the hole. They're pulling them up essentially and telling them to get off the ship immediately. God, can I ask a question? Um, just Sorry, not to interrupt, but if I were to, if a rift is caused, does the, does the rift happen where the spell was cast? Like, does the rift... Question. You're not really sure. It's where this, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, because so far the only, the only rift that you've seen that open was when Function activated an item. So you're not sure if it was the target or the, the, the point of origin from the item. Okay. Okay. So, uh... Uh, what are you doing, Pragar? <clears throat> um, is a wondrous item the same thing as a magic item? Yes. Like the bag of holding would be technically a magic item? Yes, it would be. Okay. But it's not something that you activate. You just reach in and get it. So it would call a rift? Yeah, it's not something you technically use. It'd be like wearing a cloak and getting advantage on stealth. It affects you, but it's not something you utilize at that point. Would I know not or like, not that it would cause a rift? Uh, you guys have pulled things from it since you've been here. Um, and it's yeah, you've had no problem with it. Casting, right? Yeah, casting or you or activating a magic item. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just using it, like if you had a cloak and you tried to stealth... Um, it just affects you, but it's more of a passive thing. Okay. What are you trying to do, Prigar? Never mind, that's not going to work. Um, okay. <clears throat> I'm just going to... So I hear the bells ringing. I don't see anybody running towards the ship immediately. I might try to get like closer. Maybe like kind of where Aviary is on this side of the dock. And okay. And okay. keep an eye out for anybody else. that like Any kind of reaction from where we came from. Okay, make a perception check as you do that. Aviary, what are you doing? Come on. Sorry about that. Um, it's running on my notes. Um, so I hear the bells. You said mm-hmm. we all basically heard them. Um, do I see the people on the command deck? Like, are they are they like springing to action, or are they just still like doing their thing? No, they're very much sprung into action. Uh, the people okay. who are just kind of passively looking and walk, watching the workers, they've jumped onto the ballista, and they start to crank okay. the, the big bolt back. I want to get back to this ballista here. Okay. Now, this is on, this is on like, a large, like, sentry tower. Um, you don't see any guards on there at the moment? Yeah, I'm going to fly straight to it. Okay. Uh... You go up to the top, and it looks like the ballista is, like, set aside. It's not really... Uh, you could try to repair it real quick. It looks like it's kind of put aside for, like, almost a hibernation. Like, they're not... This tower is not completely in use right now. What would I, um, what would I have to do to repair it? You'd have to make a couple of checks. Well, okay. Couple pretty good checks, okay? You want to make those real quick? Sure. Okay. So, we're going to make uh, a tinkering check, which is your dex... I believe it's uh, do, a dex do that, check. Do that Rain Man thing, where the numbers fly across your face. You just know what to do. <laughs> yeah. So, so make, make a dex check for tinkering. Make an intelligence check to understand the, the way that the crossbow goes. And then... Um, Saves or straight checks? These are going to be checks. You're not saving against anything. Uh, oh. Yeah. Intelligence, tinkering, and... Yeah, we'll just go with those two. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. You you look at this, and it's pretty much just a scaled-up crossbow. And you've seen plenty of crossbows before. You feel like you have a pretty good idea of how this would run. Okay, now let's see how dexterous your, your feathery fingers can get. I did the dexterity Oh, first. you did it. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
hey, you don't have Tinker's tools or anything, right? Because you can actually go in and roll it, and if if it's something you have, it could add a modifier to it. Do I have them? No. Uh, first tool, though, I have a hammer, a crowbar. Um, let's see. I know there's more on miners' pick. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry about it. If you don't have Tinker's tools, don't worry about it. Uh, so as you're as you're starting to like put all these gears together, it looks like it was kind of disassembled to be readily put back together. Um, you're going quickly. The biggest hurdle that you're going to run across is you don't see that there's a cranking lever. You're going to have to take the bow string itself and pull it all the way back. That'll be the final piece. Roll a strength check. Could I try to replace the crank lever instead? Uh, you don't see a crank lever anywhere. You you can either you can either uh, roll a strength check or you can make a another intelligence check to see if there's something else you might be able to rig up in the meantime. Okay, yeah. Okabar, what are you doing right now? So, <clears throat> no no combat has technically gone down, right? Not yet, but uh, there are definitely people on alert right now. Okay, so they just people are seeing me as some weird dude just bringing a bunch of boxes, right? At this yeah. point. Yeah. Yep, and aviary. I'll get to you in just a second. Yep, okay, that's right. Okay, so the guy, the guy that's annoyed with me, is he like right here? No, it's this guy right here. Okay, that's what I thought, and that's where I'm leaving the boxes as well. Yeah, you're just yeah. You see these this pile of boxes right here? You're just stacking them up. Okay, cool. Uh, how tall is it? It's really tall. It's gotten like 12, 14 feet tall. Okay, cool. Uh, so if I can, basically, I'm gonna do like. As soon as I drop off that last box, I'm going to be like, hey, can you come help me with this? I think I got that, uh, th th those papers that you needed. Okay, make a persuasion check for me real That's quick. That's why I got them all over. Huh? Why do I feel like Uncle Bar's about to murder Hobo somebody? <laughs> <laughs> come here, I've got those papers you were asking hey. for. <laughs> Can you help me search for it? You check on this yeah, side, I, I'll check on this side. So either make, yeah, persuasion or, or uh, just actually make a deception check to uh, Okobar. <sighs> oh, it's about time you had them. Um, let me help you with that. And he kind of goes over and, and tries to take the box and he's like walking backwards. He's not helping at all. He's like, this is plenty light. So uh, there's a lot of boxes though, right? It's it's twelve feet tall with the boxes, yeah. It's pretty heavy. So I'm gonna it's, go on that. I'm gonna go on the other side on that one. And I'm like, I'm gonna search on this side, and I'm gonna try to slowly tip it and tilt it over on to his okay, side. Okay, okay. Make a slide of hand check to see if you can get the misdirection as you give him the full weight of the box. And it's an empty box. You've been dumping out the onions, and he's just kind of looking at it like, what? Okay. It's like, what the fuck is this empty? And as he looks up, that you can see like the shadow just growing on him as the boxes <laughs> just start to fall on him. Poor guy. He takes. Hold on, because he's twelve feet tall. Each one of those would, would fall. Yeah, twelve feet down. Uh, okay. He's just a big cacophony of, of things as uh, the bells that are going off on the on the. Um, on the ship are still going. You do see the person on the uh, uh, arbalist. He kind of he sees that happen and point and points the uh, the trebuchet towards excuse me the arbalist uh, towards the vicinity of where all of the the noise was. He just um, they just they didn't see me tip it. They just saw it just they, tip over. They just heard all the boxes and they just see you standing there uh, with nothing in your hand, just like looking around as the pile of boxes has collapsed. Can I, on top can of I get down? Can I? No, I'm immediately jump down. It's like, someone, anyone, come help me. Anybody, come help me. All these boxes okay. fell on this guy. So <laughs> okay, make make a persuasion check, and we'll see how many of the, of the workers you can get over there. persuasion my enemy this whole game. I like it. I like it. We could try, though. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, a <laughs> lot of them start to... The boxes did fall on the guy. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to say the guys are here. I'm going to say with a... Uh, 13. Uh, I'm going to say you get a whole bunch of them, especially the closer ones, to kind of come over there. You're you're standing right here now. Uh, they all start to like try to move the boxes out of the way. They do start to see there's a big pool of blood uh, kind of growing at their feet and they get a little bit... Hey, these are these are just typical workers. They're not real tough. Um, okay, so... And only your boxes are empty, not all the boxes, so that's kind of... Here, that's I, think, uh, I think I'm going to... Can I try to sneak away from them? Uh, yeah, yeah. So to you're, go you're towards the ship. Okay, you're just back. Oh, uh, is, that guy, is that guy still the person right here still watching me? Correct. 
this person who's on the trebuchet or on the arbalist has it pointed straight at where the boxes were. You can try to make make a stealth check, I guess. <laughs> you can it's be like, you have to roll pretty high. <laughs> Uh, yeah, as you begin to start moving, you can see that the trebuchet, like the person behind it, uh, like sees you and, and slowly starts to move. Excuse me, the arbalist so slowly starts to like track in your direction. Not like point straight at you, but they are watching as you're walking towards the ship itself. Uh, I'm going to start like freaking out, like acting freaked out, like, oh my God, what just happened? And start trying to walk my way towards this alley if I can. Okay, but you're walking away from the ship, right? Just, okay. Yeah, he like, still he still has it trained on you, but you are kind of walking over there. Okay. Anything else you want to do right now? Or are you waiting right there? Uh, if I can, is it possible to get right behind these boxes? And if I'm not seen or anything like that, can I try to load an air load an arrow or you know just wait for? Like, <sighs> okay. Make a stealth check to see if you can hide behind those boxes as uh, you you pull out an arrow. <sighs> Every roll. I'm making roll another one because this, this is something different. This is not as misdirection. Okay, you, yep, you, you kind of disappear and you, and you look back and you see the person behind by the arbalist is trying to look and see who's underneath the boxes. So you pull out your arrow and knock it and get ready. Okay. Uh, back to me. Aviary, yeah, aviary. You, you find a big piece of timber <laughs> and you're. Tick, 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 Meanwhile. You're yep, uh, aviary. It looks like you're, you have it propped up, but as you were propping it up. <laughs> The part of it broke off. Uh, it did catch in the lever, but it looks like you can only load one um, arbalist bolt. So you you reach over, you find one. Do you want to load it up? Yeah. Okay. You you load it up there. You don't know how exactly you'll reload it, but at least you have a shot. Okay, we're gonna jump over to to, uh, to tell me. What do you mean I don't know how to reload it? Because of the arm, or because there's no ammo? Yeah, because what you were using as a crank arm, as you're pulling it back, it was. You rolled high enough to load it one time, but as you were pulling it back, the the crank arm, the makeshift crank arm, did snap, and so you have it loaded up, but you're not sure how. Once it fires, you will reload that string again. Okay. Okay. All right. So uh, let's get Tal right up here. All right, Tal. So uh, you are now here. Uh, you, <laughs> as soon as you open the door, you begin to hear the little ding a ling ling. You run in and you close it and you hear voices behind you lock immediately it. start to yell start to grumble start what to growl. You lock it in the lock the door what do i see in the room biggest piece of furniture that's on the floor okay uh there's there's a big bed right here there's a small writing desk here uh there's a chest to your left or actually it's an armoire that stands up in a bookcase to your right okay let me ask you this mm -hmm. how many in spells can i cast if the spell time is instantaneous and like if I wanted to cast multiple spells in a row, how long mm -hmm. would it take? Would it be like spell three seconds later, spell three seconds later, spell? Would it? I yes, stop. that's right. It would, because each one takes an action. Right. So four seconds yep. each, basically. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'll close the door. Um, okay. You've locked it, right? I want you to know, God. If yeah, the door is locked. When that door swings open. I am going to immediately cast a series of spells. So I'm going to try to do something before that happens. But when that door opens, I'm going to go spell, spell, spell. And, okay. Um, <clears throat> so, all right. So I'm going to go immediately start looking for anything that I can that looks important. Documents, papers, letters, secret compartments, switches. I'm a master motherfucking thief. I know secret compartments like the back of my fucking hand. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not going to roll a one, but I'm just reminding you from my background <laughs> what I fucking do. All right. So what are you investigating first? Uh, I'm going to look, sure. I'm going to, I'm going to go over to the desk and I'm looking for documents and secret switches, our buttons, our levers, our compartments, whatever. Okay. As you, and I'm not being that. Stealthy. if it's locked, I'm breaking the lock and I'm ripping the door open. I'm not fucking with okay. it in there. Okay. As you cross that scene, this is a very well made, a very That's elegant right. looking desk. Uh, you begin to hear, hey, hey, who's in there? You should begin to hear banging. And they're like, cop, is that you? I'm with, do you respond to that? Nope. I'm smashing grab. Right. I'm looking. Okay. Make your investigation check. There you go. Uh, you begin to hear, oh shit. Uh, you begin to see an axe head. <laughs> just make its way through the door as it, they start to rip it open. 19 20 on that. plus 2. 
Okay, okay. Uh, as you're digging through there, you see a bag of gems that you pull out. It looks like I it's worth, it. yeah, probably 350 gold. Uh, okay. You also find, uh, let's see. Oh, you find this potion with a swirling kind of whitish silvery liquid as you pull it out. And uh, let me use this table real quick. Any docks? You do see a letter that is sealed. I'll take it. Just for all intents and purposes, just assume I'm taking everything I can. Okay. Um, and you you see several other like missives, things that are like uh, like inventory of the ship or, or destinations or, or things that would not be of any use. Apparently, um, the one thing that you did find was was the letter that was sealed. It was very prominently placed there. Um, okay, what are you going to search next? Is uh, I'm going to go over to the armor. Okay, the armor. Same thing. Secret compartments, drops, rust. Make your investigation like check. Go. All right. Roll twice. Nineteen okay. plus That's two. Okay. Twenty. Same thing. Sure. 21. Sure. Sure. Uh, we'll take the first one. Thanks. <laughs> Make sure I have this right. I hear you, Zuka. Second. If I can get there before they get in the door, because they're getting in the door, dude, and I'm about to rip a hole in the dimension in this boat. <laughs> With magic. I just see like Kamehameha wave to like to the door. <laughs> Sorry, I had to grab a different table there? Remind me to tell you our party's history with the Thunder Wave spell. Yep. <laughs> After the game, I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> Knock someone into like death or something. It's it's been a recurring thing. I'll let me say oh, that. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'll tell you all about it after the game. All right. <clears throat> okay. I, I love uh, D&D, dude, guys. I'm shaking. I'm like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so as you open it up, uh, you. S- hey, try dying. Yeah. <laughs> you find several luxurious looking. Uh, <laughs> Coats, very very large coats actually. Um, several robes, a, a lot of uh, different clothing items are kind of thrown down at the bottom of the armor. They're all bunched up. Um, they they look like they're larger, like they're uh, a man's clothing that have been thrown down, and then there are like three or four different things that have been hung up. Uh, in there, you do see this really elegant looking long coat that just catches your eye immediately. Um, just being near it, you can sense there's something inherently magical about it. I'll take it and kind of throw it over my satchel where I'm carrying it on my hip, you know, my bag. Like- yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. So you take that, you throw it over. Uh, as you do that, the hanger itself also has a small little circlet. Uh, it's this little piece of just silver that s- it seems like it goes with um, whatever cape you got. You, you go ahead and grab that as well, put it around your arm. Um, at this point... Is the armor near the door gone? Yeah, yeah, it's right next to the door. And you, and you see them... Shove it over in front of the door when I'm done looking through it. Just shove it in front of the door. Yeah, make a strength check. Let me see if I'm actually... I'm going to say that it happens at the same time if... Okay. Uh, at this point, there's another there's another axe head that goes... <laughs> the door is just about to give way. Uh, oh, unfortunately, as you're trying to yeah. shove it over, it's a yeah, little too heavy. The door is just about to give way. Um, yeah. I am about to, I'm about to go into a sequence of spells. Okay. Uh, as, I do, as I do, I'll go, Well, Okaba, I'm not going to start a fire, but I imagine a rift in the dimension will do just fine. And then I'm going to start casting spells. Okay. So uh, for this for this instance, I'm going to say, go ahead and roll initiative for me. Okay. Shoot. <laughs> Did that do it? Yeah. 16. Initiative, yeah, 16. No problem. I'll add you to the turn order. Oh, I didn't click my token. I'm sorry. No worries, dude. Right. We'll get it. Right. Is it on here? I, haven't st- I hate the roll 20 interface. It's terrible. All right. You said it's 16. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay, um, and then I'll... Oh, I don't know what that is, sorry. Um, and then I'm going to add the, the six crew guys that are down here. One, two... So these are humans, actually. Three... What's, uh, what would you say this footage has got of the room that I'm in? The what? I can... Where's... Where, oh, okay, I can see it on here. 50, 20, 20, 20. It's probably 25 feet by 25. Okay. I mean, it's easily the largest room in the ship. Okay. 
All right, yep. So you've got these guys right here. Um, they're all just going to share initiative. Okay, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll use movement on my turn, right? Because I would have just tried to throw the armor, so I'm right there. Yeah, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say because they're, they're also trying to, to break it in here. Uh, 16. Oh, they got a 16 too, but they have, yeah. Okay, perfect. So, so like uh, what's your dex? Uh, two. It's, yeah, Dex is fifteen plus two. Yeah, you go first. Okay, yes. so they're they're unable. They're they're just ripping open the door, and they're able to fit in probably one at a time. Uh, what spells are you casting? Um, so, well, it's hard now. So I when I asked about casting spells in order, like boom, boom, spell, spell, spell. Now that I'm in initiative, I, I mean, it's gonna be I do one spell, they all get to go. I do one spell, they all get to go. Or are you going to let me do some back to backs? I'm, I'm going to let you do back to backs because I'm going to act like you're holding your action. I just want to see if they got through the door first or if I, you're able to cast through the hole yet. So the, that's what it's for. I'm going to get all the way back into the back of the room as far as I can. Okay. So as I'll you're... be 25 feet from the door. Yep, right here. Okay. Um, Next to the bed. Yeah. So here's what I'm going to do. In this spell number one, identify object i'm looking for the urn and god i the way i think i would want to do this is let me roll let me roll my spells in order and then let me do the checks to see if i rip the tear but if you want to do them one at a time i don't know because it might start happening instantaneously we're yeah we're gonna do these one at a time okay cool so first thing i'm gonna cast um locate object and i'm trying to i've, I've been around these urns i'm familiar with them i'm gonna try to see if the if the urn is on the ship Okay, 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 okay. And uh, I believe the range on that. Let me let me go ahead and cast it here. Uh, yeah, it's 1,000 feet, right? Yeah, it's 1,000 feet and it stays up for 10 minutes. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. You, Is it all? It's all one another. Sure, you, you begin to you begin to just putty this this uh substance in your hands and this the smoke tends to drift in the direction of wherever the object is if it's in your vicinity yeah. you see it go straight up and then go straight down it looks like it's directly beneath you gotcha all right the next spell that i will cast is 20 feet ahead of me starting at the base of the door past it i'm going to cast fireball okay uh, i need you to go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw for that first spell yep um, fireball. Let me roll the damage on fireball first, since it's here. Well, this is for the locate object. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, what is it? Wiz save? Yeah, Wiz. Uh, yeah, w make a wisdom saving throw. That's right. Oh, okay. boy. No, I want the rift. Trust me. <laughs> I'm, tr I'm hoping I roll really, really low. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Okay. As so, as the smoke begins to come up and come straight down, this is the, this is the target self uh, spell. The smoke falls to the ground and starts to billow. As soon as I know it's there, I boom fireball. Like the moment I the moment I sense that it's in the hold, fireball it's just out okay. of reach where it doesn't hit me. <laughs> and then God, All right, I'm, right now, as soon as I as soon as the fireball hits, as it's flat, the light is flashing. I'm casting the kitchen door, and I'll tell you where I'm going to go. I'm doing three spells back to back to back in this room. Yeah, yeah, you are. And they're all instantaneous. They're all one action um, for casting times. So, uh, yeah, okay. So this this monstrous creature starts to just bubble forth this from bitch gonna the, pay for being the disparity. You're what? That bitch is going to pay for being mean to my friends. <laughs> <laughs> and you, so, yeah. uh, so I need to roll. So if I'm going to do fireball, that's the damage. If they're the guys on the other side of the wall, I don't know how they want to... I'll leave that up to you. Yeah, and give then me one I second. So, two more wisdom saves too, though, right? Ours, if, it, if it's done, it's done. I don't know. So this creature just starts to billow forth in front of you. Uh, it, it looks exceptionally angry, and it is it is going to also roll initiative since it's pissed off as well. Okay, I rolled a 10. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so you, you go ahead and uh, throw your fireball out. Uh, well, the creature popped up right after I cast detect. Yes, that was from the very first spell. Okay, so I'm not going to do fireball then, because I want them. Okay. To, I want them to have to fight this thing. I'm going to mention door. It's right out, right out the gate. <sighs> okay, what what level are you casting dimension door at? I mean, it's the highest level spell that I have. Um. So. Wait. 
Where is it? Oh, actually, it's not. It's a uh, fourth level. Okay, fourth level. Teleport five hundred feet. Okay. Uh, I love this game because I let me read the let me read the fine print here. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. So it's fourth level, right? Uh, all right. So as as you begin to smack your hands and make the door, you also see this billowing smoke come up, and it, it is this. Uh, what you imagine a genie or an Efreet would look like with red hands, red hair, but it has kind of this uh, fey uh, mysticism to it. Like it has paints all across its head. Um, instead of it having claws, it has um, ha has like looks like almost tree bark. It looks like it's it's very much from the plant life. And as you begin to to cast your spell, he starts to to move and jangle, and he, he starts to mutter. I mean, that's all the all the fey creatures are anti magic. That's their whole their whole purpose. Okay, so as you get into this, you see the door open right in front of you. You're about to duck in, and you see the, the din uh, just start to, to focus at it. And as he's looking at it, you see uh, a couple of the sailors behind him finally break open the door and swipe at him. That, sen that seems to break the djinn's concentration as he turns back to look, and his counterspell is broken. It's not strong enough to break through your dimension door. You oh! step through. Where are you going to? Hey God, I was gonna say I was gonna say if he does break it, I was gonna do cutting words to diminish his role if he had to roll. Okay, against, but he good didn't, idea. He didn't. Okay, so I don't have to. Um, I saw Aviary up on the roof of that building. Mm-hmm. I'm, right I'm, I'm gonna pop up right next to him. Boof. Okay, uh, and I'm immediately gonna say, I just caused a rift in the captain quarters. We need to go. <laughs> Okay, so where Aviary was, he's no longer there. He's he, and you're not really too sure of where he is. Oh, okay, you see Pregar immediately yeah. down below you, uh, so you're able to tell him that. I'll then I'll shut down. There's a rift in the captain quarters. <laughs> I'll fucking start working my trying to look for a way off. And then okay, I'm, so ding ding ding. ding. Yeah, you begin to see like explosions and shit coming from the back end of the ship where the captain's quarters are. Uh, Okabar, you're still over hidden behind a bunch of boxes. Sorry, what? Okabar, you're still here. You're still hiding over here in the corner behind a bunch of boxes. What are you doing? So, um, I just and you did see the up. gate open up as Talvin pops out because that's the direction you're looking. Yeah, and then Talv's just dipping out. Uh, yeah, Talv is now appearing right where Aviary was before. Okay, so in that case, what then, are you gonna do? Is that is that? Is this person still locked on the area that I was on? Uh, they're they're yeah they're definitely paying attention to to the right side of the ship, or I guess for you it'd be the port side. So over here where where you are currently, yeah. Uh, okay, in that case, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna put my bow back up, my arrow, you know. Okay. And I'm just gonna run. Well, I'm gonna run back, basically. Oh no! Oh no! I did it again. Some more boxes fell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So you begin to run this way, uh, yelling, "Oh no! Oh no!" The. Okay. At this point, you begin to see hear people just start to, uh, up on the ship, screaming, "Oh look, is off! Oh look, is off! Get out! Get out!" And you see like um, a couple of the people who are slower to get up the lines, like they're having their lines cut. They're, ah! like falling down uh they're getting very aggressive about who is on the ship and who's not um they're starting to like go to the side of the ship uh just really telling all the workers just to hightail it um the foreman actually the foreman that's down here he's really pissed that they're actually like killing off some of the workers that have just like fallen down um people are still messing with the boxes you are able to like run by in the chaos you you make your way over here to where pragar is pragar you see poof, talvert appear above you you see okabar Trotting it up, uh, Aviary. You're you're not cranked and ready to go. Do you want to do anything with your with your arbalist? Yeah, I'm gonna aim it at one of the the other ballista wielders. Okay, you, I would say your probably best shot is with this guy. That's one, yeah. Okay, make a ranged attack. You're not gonna have any proficiency with this because you're not really trained in arbalist. Um, but I'm gonna say that since you kind of were able to discern it, you're not gonna be at disadvantage. So just make a ranged attack. Okay, how do I do that? Just um, it, 
what I'm saying, it's not going to be improvised weapons, so you're going to do just roll a d20 and add your dex modifier. Because normally okay. it would be an improvised weapon range attack, which you would have uh, penalties against, but oh. since you're not completely improvised... Oh! <laughs> okay. You just... It, it, it triggers, and as soon as it does, you see the bolt arc down. Just it, it impales the guy who's who's just manning this back arbalest. He goes flying. Uh, it'd be fifteen feet, which ends up making him fall off the edge. Just just skewered like a like a barbecue stick, and he goes ah! just falls down the ship. Everyone who's on the ship begins to look. Uh, they start to scream. We're under attack! Ding a ding a ding a ding! You start to see all the all the uh, the alarms going off. Uh, Talvern, you're up on top of the of the uh, ship. Can I the arbalest guy. On the other end, is starting to look around and see what's happening. You're do I see any any in in this time? God, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stay up there until I see uh, uh, city of leaves, police, or guards, or whatever starting to approach the situation. I imagine they're not gonna be far away. Um, yeah, they won't be too far away. That's true. So I'm not gonna do anything until 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 I see them start to approach, and then I will. I will try to jump, come down from where I am and, and speak to them as they run up. Okay, you're waiting there? I want to get down on the roof, and I want to wait until I see, yeah. if when I, As soon as I see guards or police or whatever, I want to run up to them and, and try to speak to them as they're coming up. Okay, Aviary, make a perception check for me real quick. Heard. And yes, Zuka, the moats, poof, they are gone. What what little bit of moat had grown back uh, is now completely gone again. I'm rolling a really low perception today. Hey, God, can I yell at Tal? It's like, what happened to the ship? You said smoke! <laughs> uh, Avia, you're able to see kind of coming from the direct north, you see there is a, a group of several dozen uh, people who are sprinting towards your direction. I see okay. from what direction? Uh, you see what? You said I see them from what direction? From coming from north, from the direction of where the tavern was, and from okay. from that roll, which is an eighteen, uh, you can definitely tell it's it's that group kind of making their way back. Uh, at this point in time, uh, can I react and that that function? You guys are. Uh, no, give me just a second. Uh, at okay. this point in time, Zuka and, and Function are just now starting to enter the, the area of where the ship is. You guys know where the ship is because you guys have been here before. Uh, it was the two of you that had gone there uh, previously. So let me let me give you control of your can character I, real quick. Can I roll my hit die? Yeah, yeah, go ahead and roll it. I'm going to roll all... Thank you, already. I don't know how I've never done this before, so I'm not sure. But let's check this out. Sure. So, yeah. How? How is that? So if you hit if you hit short rest at the top of your character sheet, uh, it looks like you have all your hit die there, and you can roll each of them. Um, you can roll hit die on that. You see what I'm talking about? Okay. So yeah, do it that way. Okay, cool. Which I think you kind of were already. So did I just hit all of them? Yeah, just just roll hit if if that's if that's what you want to roll, then yes. Well, is it plus three every time I roll one? Or it, is it's, it a, it's yeah, it's one d eight plus three. Uh, every, every time I roll the hit dice, right? Yes, that's correct. So eight times twenty one. Well, no, you have to roll each each one of them, and then you'll mark them off under Warlock right there. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So, okay. Um, so I rolled I rolled twice. Uh huh. So, so it's I 14 need hit points. You got eight. All right. So add all that up. Yes, sir. So fourteen and nineteen and twenty-nine, thirty-nine. I'm sorry, I thought you'd already done this. My bad. Nope, that's okay. Forty-three and fifty, and then so I have fifty. Yep. Yeah, thank you, Zuka. 
<laughs> Nailed it. So 59 for me. Okay. Sorry. I know that was tedious, but yeah. <laughs> no, no, you're good. You're good. Okay, so Zuka and Prager are both slowly walking up. Uh, you see a giant bolt coming from this, what looks to be a guard tower, go over and hit the ship that you guys had been in, in, in initially. You're starting to hear, hear bells all over. You hear what seems to be a riot occurring from behind you guys, probably three blocks away at this point. Hold on. Uh, what? Hey, um, do we know Zan? I would. Anybody recall uh, Zan's grandfather's name? Did they ever give us a family name? Okay, sorry about that. All right, yeah. what are you yeah, doing, Function? Zuka. Oh. Zuka, <clears throat> what's happening? I don't know. But quickly follow me, and I'm going to grab Function by the arm, and I'm going to pull him kind of over in this direction. Wah! Okay. <laughs> okay, you are you are now pulled in that direction. Can, yeah. we, can we try and hide? Uh, yeah. Go ahead and make a stealth check. Uh, I'm going to say with disadvantage because you're with function. Just just because. Okay. Uh, it's going to unroll with auto advantage. So just take take the lesser of the two. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there's just a whole lot of noise, a whole lot of things going on. Ding ding ding. Um, there's not a whole lot of places to hide over here. You, you you try to like lean against the wall and be as nonchalant as possible, but it's still pretty difficult. Uh, I mean, are, are with we your from board. like people like people would be coming over here. Uh, probably in a couple in, in, in a couple of seconds, you'll you'll definitely see them that way. Uh, Talvern, as you're as you're beginning to kind of move that direction, you do see a warforge in the very like.